Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you all doing today? It's so nice to see you again. Oh my gosh, we have it feels like we just did this yesterday. I mean, we did it on Friday. We don't usually do uh, YouTube streams on Friday, but we changed it up last week. So it, it kind of feels like it's back to back, you know? That's good though, because we have a project that we're still working on today. How's everybody doing? It's so nice to see you all. Thank you so much for popping on in. I hope you're all having a good day. Hope you can all hear me okay. Um, I'm back at home. I, I was at my parents for the weekend, so everything is all good now. Hopefully the audio is okay, because sometimes I have to kind of fix things up. But I think it's all good. See everybody saying hello, 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 hello. Hello, everybody. How are you all doing? You're going to make some chili today. You know what? Tis the season. I feel like I think we're going to be doing some soup this week as well. Soup and grilled cheese season. Today I have a tea because my, my I have a weird little like a little bit of a dry cough that's just been persisting. So went, went with uh, some tea today. I, I'm, I'm just copying Moon though. Moon was like, I'm drinking tea right now. And I was like, I'm going to have some too. So yeah, we have lots of stuff to do today, so I hope you all just like settle in vibe because we're just we're just going to be hanging out today. We're going to work on that portal. Um, we did quite a bit of work on it the other day. It actually looks pretty cool. I'm excited for how it's going to turn out. New subscriber here, loving your stuff. Kelly, welcome on in. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a good Monday. You just sat down to dinner. Perfect time for some chill drift. Let's go. What is on the menu tonight? What is on the menu? Here you find perfect, perfect. Love grilled cheese and tomato soup. There's nothing quite like it, right? Hello from me and Pori and Child. Child is doing strange uh, acrobatics on the sofa and we're having mini pizzas for tea. Mama, that sounds like a great evening. I hope you're both well. So nice to see you and say hello to Pori and Child as well. Mini pizzas, there's nothing like it. Nothing like it. Broccoli cheddar soup tonight. Oh, that sounds so good. I love a good potato and leek soup as well. See, so yeah, grilled cheese and tomato soup is a classic. I'm glad we can all agree on this. New subscriber here. Your videos are so chilled. Oh, thank you so much, Jackie. I really appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. Moroccan style meatballs and couscous. Oh my gosh, I'm already hungry. I am already hungry. I'm looking forward to dinner tonight. I really am. So this is what we worked on in the last stream. We actually made some progress. We actually did. These hoglins, they have been like circling this area. They literally, they they want me gone so bad. Um, I still really want to do warped wood up top here and maybe kind of like get some more lighting in here. We had the idea um, <clears throat> yesterday to not yesterday friday to pop out some windows i think we're gonna do that on all sides so it'll light up a little bit better and i kind of figured like whenever we build out a platform here we can also like light up all of that with glow uh shroom lights shroom lights that's what it is however we have a little bit of a problem i don't have any warped wood around me not as far as i can tell i think we might actually have to explore a little bit today so that's gonna be that's gonna be fun i'm a little scared you're having roasted tomato soup and grilled cheese with homemade bread tonight frog crafting you're literally living my dream right now actually living my dream i am so jealous you have to you have to send me photos of food oh my gosh jump scare jump scare also so nice to see you froggy i hope you're hope you're doing well You're having a vegetarian pizza tonight? I cannot wait. I love a good veggie pizza, honestly. So good. So good. Okay, we have to go one, two, three, and then I'm going to put the little placeholder uh, block here for this one. We're just going to get straight into the build. And I think we'll do some exploration after. We do need to go um, into the overworld and get some more obsidian in a bit as well. So... How many blocks is it? Oh, it's just a one block. Okay, perfect. If you find some blue mushrooms, uh, mushroom piglins and hoglins won't come near them. True, and also if we find blue mushrooms, can we also bone meal those and just like grow those trees so we don't have to go find the warped forest? Is that is that an option? You got yourself an early Christmas present, a new phone. Oh my God, congrats. That's so exciting. So exciting. I hope... Uh, I hope you're enjoying it. New phones, honestly, 
There's nothing quite like it. Mine's mine's reaching the end of its days, so it's so slow right now. Sorry, I'm just taking a little sip of tea. Cass, welcome on in. I see we're talking about food. Everyone is eating such good food. And I'm here to, uh, with my instant... I can't pronounce that word. Wait, what? what is it? Whatever it is, I'm sure it is still very delicious. Very, very delicious. So I think I go one, two, three, and then boom. I think what we're doing tonight is leftover pasta because we made a bunch the other night. I am literally craving ramen so bad though. Ever since we've come back, the weather's been super, super cold. And I've just been like really, I just really want ramen. I think we might go soon because we have some good places around us, but just been like, it's one of those things where it's like, I want ramen because it's cold out, but I'm also too cold to get said ramen. So that's the predicament I'm in. Too cold and too lazy, you know? It's just one of those things. But I know once I go out to get it, it'll be so fun. I don't know why I went around the long way when I could have just done that, you know? Why did I do that to myself? Because I'm drift and I never think of, I never think of the easy way to do things, do I? just do this for now and then we could go up like this I think this makes our life substantially easier why aren't you why aren't you why don't you go up there we go there we go oh we need the warped neelium too okay never mind then we got to find a warped forest today then can I pet that dog <laughs> I screamed when I saw that uh that meme that you showed me, Froggy. I was like, what are you talking about? And then I saw it after. I was like, oh my God, that is literally me. Can I pet that dog? It's rice cakes. Oh my gosh, the rice cakes. Oh my gosh. We have been on a hunt. On a hunt for those rice cakes because we have the sauce. I forget what the sauce is called. Big Tiny Duck bought like, we accidentally bought like two bottles of it because we've been craving it for so long. But for some reason, we have not been able to find the rice cakes anywhere. I think we need to go to um, one of the markets in the city to go get it because we've been looking at some of the grocery stores and they're always sold out. Ah, I did not mean to do that. That's okay. That is okay. Okay, so I got the windows in place. I don't know what to decorate them with. Maybe iron bars would be kind of cool. Or did we say glass? Oh, I remember what we said. Um, Somebody suggested in the last live that we did to do some like orange stained glass because it'll complement the warped uh, wood. We got to go out into the overworld anyway because I was kind of thinking, one, we need uh, obsidian. Two, we need, what was the other thing that we need? We need some gold because I'm, I'm kind of just rocking diamond ar armor and I don't think that's very safe. So we need to be a little bit conscious of that. And then, forget what else. Uh-oh. So we need some flowers too for some orange dye. I could have pasta every day, Jag same. There's so many different types of pasta, you know? What kind of tea are you guys drinking? I'm drinking Earl Grey with a spoonful of honey. We were out of honey. I'm so sad. There was no honey in my cupboard, but I'm doing sleepy time tea. <laughs> Midday, I'm doing sleepy time tea, but that's okay. It's herbal. I feel like it'll kind of help with like my throat situation right now as well. I love the sleepy time. Anything herbal I'm good with. You having a British comfort food of beans on toast with a mug of Yorkshire tea? That sounds delicious. You know what? When I was in the UK, I ended up having a bunch of mushrooms on toast. I didn't know that was really a thing, but I saw it on a menu and I was like, oh, and oh, it is so good. What the heck? I wish that was like more common in Canada. I really liked it. I think we ended up having it a couple times, TBH. 16, one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know if I, we might need more than 16, I think. Trying to do the math in my head, but we're probably going to need more than 16. I'm going to burn a little bit more glass. Put this iron away. Thanks to my trusty system. Yeah, the orange or yellow glass, I think, is going to look so good. The carbonara rice cakes, conveniently ignoring uh, that I'm not white. I'm 
white white which means i cannot tolerate spice and the bold boot is it budak or baldak that brand is so so spicy i'm not even kidding the carbonara i think when we get the carbonara ramen we do like maybe half the spice if that and it like literally still messes me up it's so funny but i refuse to like not eat it because that's the carbonara ramen from that brand is probably one of my favorites it's so good <laughs> oh my gosh sorry i have a still got my little cough still got a little bit of a cough can i redeem imagining imaginary channel points to name a ho hoglin dog absolutely not because that thing will probably end me because it'll just be hanging around and it will absolutely destroy me <laughs> without a doubt i feel like if i allowed that to happen we would regret it big time actually big time okay i need to put some of this stuff in our chest in the uh in the nether so we have a little bit of space to do some of the overworld stuff so we'll go drop that off get our gold get some more obsidian and then we'll be on our way sleepy time tea is so good so good mushrooms on toast is amazing like i wish that was so popular here it's just so good every time i saw it on a menu i would get it should I do a channel point redeem on Twitch for that on Friday? Absolutely, Moon. In the survival world? In their, um, our stream world? Definitely. Definitely. You eat the double spicy for fun? Froggy, how? How do you do it? My mouth is on fire even with, like, the regular carbonara, uh, ramen. I, I'm like, I, I don't think I'm that great with spice, though, to be honest. Like, Big Tiny Duck, she's really good. She can tolerate spice so much better than I can. I wish I could, but I'm just not as strong. It's been a while since the last time I watched your stream. I'm glad to see it again. Brooks, welcome on in. It's so nice to see you. Hope you're having a good day. I refuse to admit defeat. I won't be defeated by instant sauce. Absolutely not. See, that's the attitude. That's the attitude. <laughs> Why do I have five buckets? Oh, probably from all of the stuff that we were doing with the farmland that's so funny okay let's go get some obsidian i think i saw a lava pool like somewhere in the forest over there i'm pretty sure i mean it's either that or or a wither skeleton named shroud that would absolutely you know what the only time i would ever do that shroud if is is if i was like ending a world absolutely that that would never i would never allow a wither skeleton to like stick around if I was like st still active in that world. Only, only if, only if I was just getting rid of the world, I would do it. Welcome in R, how are you doing? <laughs> Not sure what herbs are in uh, sleepy time, but they work for me, me list every ingredient. Moon, just before I started stream, I saw the message you sent me of all of your, um that brand's uh, teas. You have so many. I need to look more closely at the photo after. I'm like, oh, I'm jealous. I want that. I don't even think we have that many varieties in Canada, to be honest. I really don't think we do. Okay, I think there's a lava pool somewhere over here. I have a tea that I can post that I've used when I get a cough. I haven't gotten sick since I started using it. I used to get pneumonia twice a year. Oh my gosh, that's brutal. I think I had... The last time I had pneumonia was uh probably like 2019 ish and it was like it was two years in a row that i got it because i heard that once you get it once you're like susceptible to it brutal i would love to uh definitely love to see the tea that you use <clears throat> okay where is this lava pool i swear i saw one Log! So nice to see you. Been ages for me too, but I'm so pumped to catch this one before I go to work. Oh, it's so nice to see you. Hope you've been doing well. And I hope uh, you have a good shift at work today. So, so nice to see you. Icy, welcome on in. Hope you're uh, having a good day. Okay, I did not see... Where is this mysterious lava pit that I have sworn that I have seen? Come on. Come on. Did I cover it up? I feel like maybe one day I covered it up. 
why would I do that though? That makes no sense. There's always like some like hanging around the planes though, right? I think so. Maybe if I go that way a bit. My cousin eats jerk chicken so hot that it makes him cry and it makes his nose run and he insists it tastes good as if pain is, is the flavor. That's BTD. That is BTD to a T. She always like um, orders stuff like I'm usually like mild or medium at most depending on the place. It depends on where we order from, but she's always like make it hot and her nose is running. She's just like sniffling and literally crying and she's like, it's so good though. <laughs> Okay, where are we? Where are we going? Where's this lava pit? I swear I saw one. Because this is always the route that we took to the cherry biome. So I'm like, where is it? Orange spice tea works really well when you're sick. I'm going to have to check out orange spice tea as well. We have some good tea options. I just like... I just feel like we've overused them at this point though, you know? Drift is my Roman empire. <laughs> me laugh i kind of wheeze a bit when i laugh please <laughs> oh god I, got, I have to mute myself <laughs> i'm you know that okay you know that uh toy in toy story 2 is it toy story 2 yeah when they're like selling the stuff and then they're, they're, there's that like squeaky toy who like his squeaker broke and he gets all wheezy and they're he's like being donated i feel like i sound like him right now you know what i mean Are you thinking about the lava pit you originally covered when you, uh, you covered when you originally bu built your portal? Possibly. Oh no. Oh no. Did I cover up like my only one near me? There's gotta be more. There's gotta be more. Okay, I'm, I'm in panic mode. What? How is there no lava pit around here? This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Maybe wait till it's night. You know what? You're so right. You are so right. That is so true. Okay, what else do we need? What else do we need? That's actually such a good call. It is kind of almost night, but Oh no, you're you're getting a coughing fit too. It's like it's like um it's like when you yawn and then like somebody else catches the yawn. Do you have an idea how uh, long you'll be streaming for? Gotta go grocery shopping in a bit. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be streaming um, at least until it's 12 right now. So probably for another three and a half hours. I have a grocery delivery coming uh, later today and I have to make sure I am there for it. So we've got quite a bit of time though. It ain't easy being wheezy. I'm crying right now. Don't make me laugh, please. Don't make me laugh. I'm literally stifling my laughter right now because it's. I'm just gonna go into a coughing fit. <laughs> that what s sounded like Toad? Did I really sound like Toad? No way. No way. That would be so cool if I did. It's like that. Uh, that other YouTube video of. The Lady Gaga concert, and it sounds like I think Toad going, Oh my god, she's perfect! That one makes me laugh so hard every single time. We're just doing a little adventure, you know? We're just we're just prepping for our other big adventures. While I'm waiting for it to go nighttime, we should probably just go get some gold, TBH. Yeah, that's true. We could just find the lava in the caves, right? Azzy, it works. It works. Welcome, welcome. I'm so happy it's working today. We were having some major issues for like UK and EU uh, the other day, which was really strange. Something must have just been up with like the servers or something. It was so weird. Okay, let's get some gems. No, do I not have? Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, we've got tons of gold. I think I'm gonna make boots because... Oh, no, no, no. Yes. Maybe boots. Let's do that. Boom. Boom. We're good. Honestly, if I lose all of this uh, iron armor, I honestly don't even care that much because it's like barely any, any of it's enchanted. So it like, doesn't really make a difference, you know? 
does it really make a difference? Mzam, welcome on in. How you doing? You found the silence armor trim in an ancient city? That's good luck, honestly. We had quite a bit of trouble um, finding some, actually. The silence one. I think we had to go to... And I don't even think we found the silence one. We found the one that looks like a Mickey Mouse t-shirt. Does anybody remember that? We were so excited, and I think it was the one that wasn't as cool. I think we went to, like, I don't even know. It must have been two, three ancient cities it took us to find the armor trim. Something like that. I still haven't found any in a pillager uh, outpost either. That one's taken quite a while, too. Just gonna ignore all of these mobs. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Should I just, like, go into the caves? Like, honestly. I should make a lava farm, then try to actually survive building the lava farm? Oh, no. Our lava farm's hard to make. What What is required for a lava farm? Is that not drift-friendly? I imagine it's probably not. Ah! It's not too invasive. I'm so curious if you have a day job, and if so, is it with computers? You seem the type. I seem the type to work with computers. That is, like, a really high compliment. I don't know why. I just kind of... I think that's, like, pretty cool. I wish, but no, this, this is my day job, though. YouTube, I am very, very lucky that I get to hang out with you all pretty much all day, all the time, and make videos for you all. But I actually feel like if I had another job, it would be something, like, tech-related for sure. Okay, I do not see anything so far except a ton of creepers and a, a cow. Oh my gosh, look how many there are. I'm scared. The silence one looks really cool, especially with the diamond armor trim. Yeah, I was not pleased with the one that we got. I don't know what it was called, but it was, trust me, it was not that cool. I think silence is the good one. Whee! Lava farm easy, dripstone points. Oh yeah, the dripstone ones. Yeah, 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 those ones are easy. It's a, it's a pain getting the trip dripstones if you can find a lot and you don't have to buy it from the wandy. Yeah, I think we made one um in our survival like stream world, right? I think so. Ow. I do not see any. Oh my gosh, we are having horrible luck, eh? I just need a lava pool to get some more obsidian. Because we need quite a bit for this build. Also, I'm going to have to um, close my curtains in a second. The sun is really, really do be shining on my computer. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. I am scared. I am scared. Charles Entertainment Cheese. What a... What a guy. You know what? I've actually never been to a Chuck E. Cheese, and I'm so sad about it. Lava! Lava! Found it. I want my day job to be causing nonsense for Drift while she plays Minecraft. <laughs> Don't make me laugh again. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. I gotta... Oh, no! Shroud, you are excellent as that. In the at that, in the time that, in the limited time that you have to do that, it basically feels like a like you're doing it full time. So I respect it. Respect the hustle. Oh gosh, come on, come on. Okay, I think I can sleep now. We found our lava. We're good to go. Let me let me just. Ow! Ow! Oh! Oh! Oh, it's like really, it's really dry here now. So if I move my computer chair because there's like carpet underneath me, I was getting shocks through my headphones into my ears. That was actually so painful. I sounded like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just keep referencing YouTube videos all day. I sound, I just sounded like the grape lady there. Trip's day job is being an iPad kid. I love how Big Tiny Duck just completely backed you up on that too. And you know what? I'm going to back you up too. You're so right.
All right, let's let's get to work on this obsidian. Are you okay? <laughs> Not the distant ow, ow, ow. It was just like completely shocking me into my ears. It hurt. <laughs> it really hurt. It was a lot. <laughs> me starts to write an apology for suge suggesting to go out at night. Drift finds a lava pool. Honestly, it was such a good idea. It helped. It really helped. I, we could have possibly ran past that if we didn't do that. So that's a yes on the hoglin being named dog and the wither skelly, skelly being named shroud. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> not in this world, at least. Maybe it, maybe in the stream world on Friday. Jade, welcome on in. How you doing? So we have two. No, we have three more sides of the portal that we need to uh, activate. I'm guessing we're going to need quite a bit of obsidian. I think we have a little bit left. But I think we're going to need most of it. We probably should have most of this anyway, honestly. Just grab it while we can. Oh, no. Big tiny duck here. Big tiny duck here with the way I say portal. Now now I can't say it. I'm, I'm struggling to say it even more now that you said that. We'll just clear this area out. Absolutely clear it out. Heck yeah. Me and Big Tiny Duck have also, we started playing It Takes Two again. Um, such a fun game. I'm, we wanted to like replay the game for quite a while and I'm glad we waited so long because I actually forget most of what happens in the game. And also this time we've like switched roles. So now we're like both trying out different mechanics in the game. It's so fun though. If y'all haven't played that game yet, highly, highly suggest checking it out. It is. Probably one of my favorite games. It's so good. Nova! Oh my gosh, so nice to see ya. How you doing? So nice to see ya. But yeah, we set that up uh, last, last night? The night before? I don't even remember. We were literally just like, I don't know, just vibing to it. We actually played a little bit before she had to go to work this morning too, which was nice. When we got back from my parents, I was like, yes. We need games. Oh, oh, scary. We were also playing a little bit of the uh, Fortnite OG update. You know what? Not a huge fan of it. Not a huge fan. I've got to admit. I think like because I don't I only played a little bit of the OG map. So for me, the nostalgia doesn't really hit as hard. And what I kind of assumed that they would do with the OG map was they would kind of keep the quality of life improvements that they've made over the course of the years. like being able to swim in water properly and just stuff like that. And it's it's kind of just been like, I don't know. Not 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 my cup of tea, but I get why people enjoy it. I need to go grocery shopping tomorrow and I'm tempted to buy a ton of frozen pizzas uh, just so my Domino's addiction doesn't go too far. Oh, I feel that. You know what? There's nothing like a delivery pizza, but I totally get that. Grab some on sale if you can. Hopefully that'll that'll uh, kind of like quell the the need for Domino's. We we got a bunch of frozen pizzas too. I think we got like some Costco size boxes. They're always good in like a pinch though, you know. It's my favorite time when BTD comes in to to bully then dips out. Honestly, M like literally on her lunch, she's like, "What what's drift up to? And how how can I how can I lightly poke fun at her?" <laughs> The drift duck relationship is honestly goals. Aw. <laughs> That's so sweet. So sweet. BTD is the best, though. The best. I played Resident Evil 8 again last weekend and still in denial that uh, my girl Lady D is dead. Ain't no way my wife is dead. I don't think I've played 8. Is that the one that was. Wait, is that the one that was remastered? Or no? I would like to kind of go through all of the Resident Evil games again, because they're very fun. I remember I actually played the first one a long time ago for like the first time ever. And it's just like, obviously they're just giant puzzles, but the way that the rooms worked like really tripped me up. I forget what it was, but I kept getting lost. However, it was a very fun game. 
You're doing okay? Heck yeah, heck yeah. I'm doing good too. I'm doing I'm uh, doing pretty good. I got back from vacation. Um, life's been crazy just after we got back from vacation though. We had to like go to my parents for a couple days and stuff like that. So slowly getting back into uh, making content and stuff. Just started working on some videos again this week. Just vibing today. But yeah, it's been pretty good. I'm actually kind of happy the cold weather is here too, even though even though I know the snow is going to get a little bit annoying and all that stuff, I kind of like it. I kind of like it sometimes, you know? Okay, we got a stack in a bit. We are, we're good to go. Whee! Have you played Bread and Fred together? No! I haven't. Is it like another like co-op multiplayer game? I need to check it out though, because we're always looking for like couch co-op games. Those are kind of becoming few and far between now, I find. Which makes me a little sad, because I really like them. Me and BTD love playing games together. Drift should be sponsored by Domino's. Honestly, I... It's funny, I'm not really the Domino's person in this household. BTD is. BTD loves Domino's. I definitely have, like, different pizza... Pizza options for me. Like, if we're going for, like, a gross-ish... You know, like, how there's different types of pizzas that you can order. You can order like the fancy ones or like kind of like the greasy ones. My greasy choices are a little bit different than BTDs. There's a free medium Domino's uh, like last week. See, they do have good deals though. And the one thing I like about Domino's is like their, um, I like their sides more usually, like their wings and chicken bites and stuff. I think they're good. Domino's uh cheese dough balls i haven't had those i've had their cheesy garlic bread or whatever it was crazy bread i remember that was really good daniel welcome on in how you doing i hope you're doing well you need to start uh playing red dead again i need to start playing red dead again it has been months since we played that months things have been crazy lately johnny welcome on in how you doing so nice to see. I hope you had a good weekend. Is Ruth happy to be home? Oh, she is living. When she when we came home from my parents, literally, she had the biggest sleep of her life. She was literally like, I, I've never seen her sleep so much. It, it, the thing is, when we were at our parents, she was comfortable, but she's not really like used to it i guess so like she's still kind of exploring and stuff so she kind of refuses to sleep in a way because she's always like what's this what's this and it's like ruth you have to sleep you literally have to sleep but she won't so when we got home she just like literally passed out on her little um we have like a little windowsill spot for her to sleep on she passed out all day on that and then had a big meal this morning she bugged me a bit as per usual before uh before I started streaming, she has her morning routine of bullying me, which I love. And yeah, she's she's all good now. She's all good. Okay, where? Okay, we're gonna go into the Nether now. That's what we needed. We got the glass. We got all of the obsidian, so we're good to go. You rarely buy their pizza anymore, but the sides, the desserts. I haven't had the desserts, but yeah, I agree. The sides are just like so good. That's that's what like always makes me like inclined to get Domino's if we get it. But I feel bad because it's so rare because it's not my favorite pizza. So Big Tiny Duck is always like, oh. But that's okay though. That's okay. Effects are welcome on in. How are you doing? How to I have a cold and it's very miserable. Feels good to catch a stream though. Oh no, I'm so sorry you're not feeling well. Feels like another wave of sickness is going around, honestly. I hope you feel better soon. I hope you're getting lots of rest. I've been on the mend from like just kind of like an annoying cold. I haven't been super sick, but like when I got back, I was feeling a little bit under the weather, and now I just have a dry cough that won't go away. I was hoping to like go back to the gym and stuff this week, but literally anytime I even laugh, I start wheezing and I'm like, okay, I probably shouldn't do that yet. Probably gotta wait. Oh, 
Why is there no download for the Castaway series? You and the members hope it's not the end of the series. Like world download or? Castaways will be wrapping up soon though. Um, we do, it does have like an end date in mind, but we still, we still have a little bit more stuff to do. Um, oh, oh, I didn't complete that end. My bad. Uh, what was I going to say? My episodes though, I fall a little bit behind because I was on vacation. However, I am working on one right now. Uh, hopefully I'll have that out soon. Oh no, didn't want to, didn't want to do that. I bet she was so relieved to be home. Bless her. Give pets to Ruth, please. I will literally do that right now. Right now. She is laying beside me. She is all curled up on her cushion. It's so funny. You're so right. Pets just like at the end of the day, she always loves to be home, you know? Even though she like she's pretty comfortable at my parents, you can just tell like it's all about home. Okay, so each side is done. That's looking good. Kaiser, welcome on in. How you doing? The her morning routine of bullying me is the most cat owner sentence I've ever heard. No, honestly, honestly, like if your cat doesn't do that, like I, I don't know what to tell you. Is your cat actually just a dog or you know what? To be fair, Ruth does not bully big tiny duck. She knows I'm the weak one. She always just goes for me instead. Always. It's so funny. I feel offended that you said you're glad the cold is here. Listen, I'm I'm kind of like a, a cold season girly through and through TBH. I always have been. Summer, I, I always get miserable in the summer. I'm always like, it's too hot. I don't want to do anything. Okay, let's just patch this up a little bit. I need a little bit more deep slate. I love the cold. I love wearing layers. That too. See, I feel like half my wardrobe is out of commission in the summer as well. I feel the exact same way, Moon. I'm like, I can wear like a flannel. I can wear a sweater on top. I can wear 12 beanies at once if I want to. Like the options are endless with cold weather, you know? But in the summer, I'm like, what am I going to do? Wear just this ratty t-shirt that I've already sweat through? Oh my gosh. How old is my cat? I think she is about five now. She still feels like such a kitten, honestly. She's just such a little baby. There's definitely days, like you can tell she's older now, but there's days where she still has like, she just acts like a kitten. I can't even explain it, honestly. It's so cute though. Sorry to hear some of you are also feeling under the weather. Yeah, I hope we all feel better soon, honestly. It's always such a bummer when you wake up and you're not feeling great, especially if you like have plans that you were hoping to do, stuff like that. It's always such a bummer. I only usually like the cold, but it's November and 70 outside, so I'm really missing it. Yeah, when, see, that's the thing when it's like, when it's supposed to be cold and it's actually hot, you're like, what gives? It just doesn't feel right. We'll have some Ruth cam on Friday on Twitch. We will definitely have some Ruth cam on Friday on Twitch, by the way. She will absolutely make an appearance and then swiftly go away because that's what she always does. <laughs> Love Toronto on Wednesday and I was just starting to ice rain. As a Californian, I found it to be a new and fun experience. Oh, you were in Toronto? Oh, heck yeah. I hope you enjoyed the city. Yeah, the um, icy rain is always a very, very strange experience. It was Friday that that happened, isn't it? I forgot about that. Or was it? Yeah. Because my mom was coming to visit and I was like, you have to make sure you leave by a certain time because of the, uh, the icy rain. And I was all worried about it. I need to go from the inside. I keep going all the way around it. It doesn't make sense. This is why I'm excited to move to Houston. No more cold. Y'all are crazy. Oh, I love it. I love it. Bring, bring on the cold. You know what, though? I think I could handle the heat more if it was like dry heat. I just hate the humidity in the summer. It drives me nuts. Hey, what is this looking like? Like, that's 
Pretty good, pretty good. We're gonna have to hide the shroom lights a little bit better. I don't really know how we combat that though. Maybe hide them underneath and above actually. I feel like that would work. Ruth is 48 in cat years. No way. Ruth still, she's got to be like, she's got to be 30, 30 flirty, you know? She's got to be 30 flirty and thriving. At least. Is she actually 48 now? Ruth, you're old. Ruthie, you're very old. She doesn't care. She's like, she's sleeping. She's like, just leave me alone, please. Ruth does not have time for my sass. I feel like that's a little bit better. I mean, we'll most be, mostly be viewing it from like underneath. That definitely gives a lot of good light. That's the one that I need to cover up though. We could cover that up with something else though. Yeah, you can control your body temperature in the cold more. I feel the same way. I feel like I run hot. Does she talk a lot? My calico won't stop talking ever. We have convos. Same. My, she's a calico and she's just like, she yaps. Like you can literally have conversations with her all the time. I guess it is a calico trait then probably. Like it's so cute though. Literally like I'll, I'll I always talk to Ruth. She always talks back. I don't know what I would do all day without this cat. Honestly, she's the best. Why do all cat owners not know how old their cats are? If Indus wasn't so ener energetic and annoying, sometimes I would forget that he's only one. Oh my gosh, one. The little babies, so much energy when they're that young. So much energy. Okay, most of like, obviously we have to detail more, but I really want to get the roof in, which means we have to explore. I'm a little bit nervous. I think we need to, I need to get some like cobble and like, basically scaffolding blocks because a lot of this terrain is not too nice so we need to go um we need to grab some more blocks to kind of get through this terrain you're in a fun area that's known for fog so our temperatures are all over the place so is it kind of like one minute it'll be like super cold and like humid and then the next minute it's like super hot and dry Shroom lights directly behind the window so you can't see the edge of them, but uh, you can't hide them top or bottom. Ooh, that's a good idea. Let's try that too. Trap doors hide the block, but lets the light through. Oh, we could do that too. Okay, we have options. We have options. We've definitely got options. Selma's the most talk talkative cat and she's uh, Snow White. I feel like if you kind of like talk to your cat it's almost as if like i don't know if if they see you're talking to them they're gonna talk back you know definitely i guess maybe it's like a training thing like you you can also tr almost train them to like talk to you if that makes sense which i love okay we're gonna grab a ton of cobble Person not even a year old yet chooses violence every day. When Ruth was a baby, oh my gosh, I had no second to myself. Like this cat would not let me live. I remember I would like play, I don't know. I would be playing like multiplayer games with my friends. After, after getting home from work and playing with her literally all day. And I would be like, okay, I'm gonna take like 20 minutes and play something. And she would just be like, relentlessly coming after me. She had so much energy. It was so funny. It was so fun though. She was such a sweet little kitten. She was a little menace, but at the same time, a little sweetie. How could you not love her? Okay, we're just gonna scaffold wherever we can. Can't handle dry heat. I live in a dry heat state and there's too much uh, snow in the winter. Houston is just hot and humid all the time and you're ready for it. Oh, you like the humidity. I feel like when I, I hate the humidity because I'm like, if I can't escape like the heat, which is like impossible with humidity, then I'm miserable, you know? Merits, welcome on in. How you doing? Haven't caught a stream in a minute. No worries. I hope you're doing well. So nice to see ya. 
Your city has microclimates. Literally every postal code has different weather forecasts from day to day. That's wild to me. I cannot imagine that. That is so weird. At least like in Ontario, like you get what you get. And like in our city, it's just like same throughout, even like with rain, everything. If it's rainy in one spot, it's going to be rainy everywhere else, you know? I'm just going to like put little markers here. Just to show that I've been here, you know? Remember to put spruce stairs on top of the two windows that you missed. Oh, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you for that reminder. I went to Japan this summer. It was 95 with 96% humidity. Never again. Dry heat forever. I heard that um, Japan can be pretty brutal with the heat. I think if I were to visit, I would definitely go during like spring or something for sure. Selma's such a sweetie. Such a little sweetie cat. Oh yeah, we've got lots of bones here. We should probably grab some of those after. I see ghasts. I don't even think I have a proper uh, bow and arrow. I've got to be honest. Okay, we're going to just try to traverse through here. You really inspired me to do something about my nether portal. Started the project uh, yesterday. Let's go. What did you do for it? Honestly, like... It's to, I love that chat pushes me as well to like do something with these portals because I'm the same way where I'm like, I, I just never want to go in here. I never want to do anything with it. But at the same time, like I always just have like really gross, ugly portals hanging around and it makes me sad. Okay. I do have some arrows if I need some, uh, BTD just messaged me. Let me check quickly. Just make sure it's nothing with our grocery order. It is not. She is sending me TikToks. <laughs> I will have to check those later. <laughs> I'm crying. I'm like, oh, probably something like important. No, just sending me like a ton, a ton of TikToks. That's so. Ah! Oh, oh no! Oh no! Ah! Oh! No. Oh! Eat it. <laughs> okay, we are not looking. <laughs> Sorry, BTD. We are we are too busy to look at phone. Too busy to look at phone. I just have to assume that if she messages me again, it has nothing to do with grocery order, but it's just TikToks. I am praying. <laughs> oh my gosh. My cat was named the doctor. My uh, wife adopted him when she was a freshman in high school. And he's a very talkative boy. Oh, talkative cats are literally the best. Oh, warped forest. Yes. How do we get down there, though? I'm sure we could just like climb down. Dig rather. Oh, look at that. Heck yeah. OK, we're golden. Made a big enchanted tree in the overworld. Now I'm thinking of a base. Uh, of some kind on the nether side yo that's awesome i love a good old like portal built into like an old school tree very cool yeah i always struggle what to do like with the one that's actually in the nether you know because it kind of does have to be like safe and nether proof so i'm always like what do i do was getting ready for my lazy day and the cry of horror uh brought me back oh no <laughs> Nothing is safe on this stream. Nothing is safe or sacred. It was only a matter of time before a gas got us, honestly. I think if we dig down, we'll find something, probably. I'm a capital B baby when I play uh, Minecraft Godspeed for you playing non-peaceful and survival, honestly. it's I, I still think the nether is like probably one of the scariest places to go. There's just so many threats. There's so much lava, so many like places where you can fall off a cliff easily. It ain't easy. Okay, we're pretty close, pretty close. The default portal is so utilitarian, just an obsidian box. It's always so good to de decorate. Exactly. It's so, it's basically like at that point it's like it's it's like just begging to be decorated, you know? 
I totally agree with that, Azzy. It's just like you got you gotta do something with it. But I'm always just like it always takes me so long to do it though. You're just waiting for the gas to see me? Oh totally. It was only a matter of time for sure. I think we're pretty safe in here. Knock on wood. Welcome back, Moon. Okay, okay. You're the ghast? Why are you out to get me? Come on. Come on. Dropping all this precious quartz, too. I know I'm going to need that one day and be like, why did I do that? Oh, if I just go across here, actually, that's a little bit safer, isn't it? Ah, hydration reminder. You know what? I need to take a sip of tea really quickly. I need to drink more before it gets too cold, honestly. Otherwise, like the whole point of the tea goes to waste, you know? Half of half of the benefits is that it's like a warm drink. Nether terrifies me, but it has such pretty building blocks. So true. So true. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Oh, there's so many Endermen over there. I always forget that this is home of the Endermen. All right, all right. Any plans on playing? Oh! Nice! Let's go! Playing Dawncraft. I don't think we have any plans to play that just yet. Um, Once some of like the multiplayer series are kind of over with, which is going to be uh soon, I am planning on doing some other like 100 days and stuff like that. We will be getting kind of back into um that style of gameplay. And like other types of like different types of maps and stuff like that to try out. So there is going to be like definitely different forms of uh, content and stuff coming soon. And also I'm trying to um, get into some second channel stuff as well on the side. We'll see. We'll see. I wish I just wish I had so much more time. That's always the problem. You know, it's always the time. Okay, let's grab a little, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Uh, what should I dispose of? String. Hmm. Very tempted to get one of those self-heating mugs, even though I know they're really expensive. Oh my gosh, BTD was talking about those the other day. She was like, I think she mentioned it as like, she's like, maybe I should get you that for Christmas. She was like, I think you genuinely like them. And I was like, how much are they? And we saw the price and I was like, oh my God, they are very expensive, very expensive. But I've heard people who have them actually do really like them. I might need to invest in one as well. What is that noise? What the heck was that? God, there's so many Endermen around. I think we need like at least <clears throat> at least two stacks of this stuff. I should probably grab one of these mushrooms just in case. We grabbed too much cobble anyway, so I think it's okay to get rid of some. I don't think I have silk touch. Oh, I do. I'm just going to break it with this. Oh no. Did that not work? I don't think it did. I thought it would work. What the heck? Does it have to be a silk touch pickaxe to get that? I thought it could be silk touch anything. That stinks. Have you ever considered doing a modded single player series? I have, definitely, definitely. Um, probably, that will probably happen. Especially now that I'm <clears throat> like more comfortable with mods and like building mod packs and stuff. I, th I think I would definitely love to give it a shot. Whether it's like even, even like a better Minecraft series would be super fun. I think I've learned a lot over the past couple months about like certain mods. So I feel way more equipped to do it than I did before, for sure. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> Need to do FTB uh, aim pack. I have a modded server with my boyfriend with that mod pack and it's so fun. I've heard so many good things about that mod pack. I definitely would love to give it a shot one day. So many good things. Red, what's going on? It's so nice to see ya. How you doing? Stream is going really good. We are uh, working on our portal again. Just building stuff up. How How's uh, all the videos and stuff going for you? Oh, this is like a good area of trees right here. We're golden. We're golden. I just cannot look at any Enderman. Any. I want one because I like my coffee milky and when I play Phasmophobia with my friend, I tend to forget my drink exists. Maybe I'll get one for my birthday. Definitely treat yourself if you can. Definitely. That's so funny because I feel the same way when I'm playing games. I just like kind of forget that my hot beverage exists and then it's cold and then I'm ah and then I'm sad. There's so many Endermen around here. This is not good. Not good at all. Ah, oh, here we go. Look at this. Oh, does it just end? Ah, oh, there we go. Milky coffee doesn't stay hot. <clears throat> barely, barely. It, it's got like, um, sorry, I'm going to clear my throat. Oh my gosh. It's got like, I would say milky coffee has like a 20 minute time limit on it. It's ridiculous but it is so good can't drink my coffee without milk honestly oh what's going on here oh just trying to be as careful as i can yeah, that's sketchy that's very sketchy oh oh scared okay i need to get out of here now I think two stacks is enough. Pretty sure. I think we're good with that. Oh, there's some right there too. Okay, okay. Just get me out of here at this point. <clears throat> get me out of here. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, oh scared where's my entrance was it up top oh bro these endermen make it so much more difficult oh, i think it's right here here we go here we go okay we're golden oh hello are you enjoying my tunnel hot drinks always get cold uh because I forget about them too. The ember mug is deaf in consideration, right? I think it I think it would be a worthwhile investment. With the amount of times I like I always let my drinks go cold and also we don't have a microwave. I can't reheat anything. <clears throat> it's just like a little bit of a pain at this point. Hello? Ah, here we go. Okay. We going back. Going back. Doesn't help that uh, Catsby keeps trying to sneak a few licks of my coffee. What? <laughs> Your cat tries to get the coffee? That is... I've never seen a cat do that. That's... That is interesting. Ruth likes sweets, which she's not supposed to like. So, you know what? Never say never. Some cats just have, like, weird tastes, you know? Ruth is one of those cats for sure. All right, I'm so happy we found that. That is heckin' awesome. Now we just have to make our way back. Ah! Oh, no. Oh, no. Please. Ah! There's so much coming after me at once. Oh, God. Ah! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. It hit the skeleton. That worked out to my benefit. That's right. Don't mess with drift out. Oh no, I need steak. I need steak. Okay, I am better. No, I'm not. Oh. Oh my. Oh, that was scary. I had a dog who loved carrots out of everything. That was her fave. That's so funny. I mean, at least at least she's getting her vegetables, you know? Actually, Blockdown's uh, dog, Indy, was really into carrots. There was one night that 
for some reason, I forget what we were doing, but I was like, I don't know how to properly <laughs> hold a knife. And he was like, let me show you. And we were like chopping carrots. And um, Indy was waiting for them because apparently she really likes carrots. Okay, we're back to safety. We are back. Cats can't technically taste sweet things, but the texture. Okay, so it's got to be the texture because she specifically likes. Actually, I don't know, though. I don't know. It's cinnamon toast crunch. Makes sense. It's crunchy, but she really likes the Pillsbury cookies. You know, those ones that you bake in the oven, like they come like pre-cut and all of that stuff. If we have a tray of those, literally, she will follow us around the apartment trying to get like trying to get to them. So I don't know what she's smelling off of it. I wonder if it's like the oil or something, or maybe there's like, just like a fat in it that she's like, give it to me. I like. We're probably gonna need more wood, let's be real. <clears throat> My chihuahua Roxy loves all things spicy. If she hears me open the hot sauce cupboard, comes at full speed. That is hilarious. Like why, what is it? Ruth does like sriracha too. There is, it's sriracha. That's the only spice she likes. <clears throat> she also likes beets, so she'd have a little purple mustache mouth after eating them. That is so cute. I'm obsessed. Actually, let's make some stairs first. Let's do that. We are gonna need quite a few stairs. I honestly don't even know if I'm gonna use like stripped warped wood. I think I might use, just use the planks because we don't have that much. And honestly, I think all planks with like some other types of detail would look kind of cool, so. Boop, 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 boop. It still looks very, very dark. We're gonna have to light this up with like a ton of shroom lights and stuff, but. I need to like, oh no. Oh, no. You know who's a master at, like, nether stuff? Wax. Wax always builds, like, crazy stuff in the nether. His builds are so inspiring. <clears throat> There's a dog named Curry that comes into my store whose favorite thing toy in the world is empty toilet paper rolls. That and carrots he finds on the streets. Oh, good old street carrot, you know? Just delicious. Just delicious. That is so funny. You know what? I love it when like cats and dogs just prefer like garbage as opposed to like all the expensive toys that we buy them. It is so funny. I'm like, honestly, fair enough. Fair enough. Sriracha is delicious, so that's understandable. Honestly, we finally have just gotten Sriracha back in Canada. It has been devastating without it. And to be honest, we found it in, um, we had to go searching for it in a market and we paid a lot of money for it. It's still like not even in grocery stores. It's been impossible to get. I've heard like Amazon sells it for like, I don't even know, like $30 a bottle or something. Like what? What the heck? Don't kill the dog. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me pet that dog. Wax does it in hardcore. I can never say red. I am like, I'm just like shaking in my boots doing this and I'm in survival. The chances of me dying here are just like so high all the time. I'm just like, I'm not good at dealing with stuff in this biome. Wax's nether builds and adventures give me life. Literally, he's just so like, he's so nonchalant when he's like in the nether. He's just vibing. He knows how to handle it. Honestly, I think I would love to eventually get there where I'm like, it's just no sweat being here. I wish I had that confidence, but the only way I'm gonna get it is if I spend more time here and I just never want to, you know? Never want to. My cat loves playing with garbage. Honestly, Ruth does too. She's like a little little garbage rat. It's so funny. 
One thing she specifically loves, it always makes me nervous, is like plastic. Like if I drop a piece of plastic on the floor, I have to scoop it up so fast. Otherwise she's like bolting towards it. She also steals Big Tiny Duck's hair elastics. And she actually has like weird specific hiding spots for them. She'll shove them like into things and like pull them out later. She's been hiding some under our carpet for some time. And like literally one day we were like cleaning under the rug and she was like looking at us weird. And then we found her hiding spot. I'm stuck up here now. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? But like literally she was looking at us weird and we were like, why is the cat looking at us? And then we lifted the rug and we were like, Ruth, what the heck? And she just looked at us like, she was like giving us shifty eyes like, huh? That cat's too smart for her own good. Woo! That was actually kind of swag that I did that. Zion, what's going on? It's so nice to see ya. Oh my! Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! What the? Get out of here. Get out of here. Literally leave me alone. Come on. Yeah, that's right. That's right. A full nether cozy long play uh, with commentaries on the horizon. Listen, once we get to back to that cozy long play world, I am going to have to go there sometime. So never say never. Not in the fall long play series because we're going to be wrapping that one up soon. But hey, when we continue in the other world, we're going to have to do some stuff. It's great content though when you pretend to be scared of everything. It's so convincing. Yeah, I'm I'm just I'm just pretending for you all. I'm never actually scared. Never actually scared. Me? No. Pfft. Never. I'm not afraid of things. Pfft. I'm a pro. I'm actually such a pro. How are you? Doing good? Doing good? Just vibing today. So excited to continue this world, um, not this world, this build in this world. We're in the chill survival world today. We started this, um, this portal on Friday. Now I think we're, f we're finishing it today. I feel like it. We've gotten like quite a bit done. I feel like it's been a while since I've done something like this. I think that could look kind of cute. That's too high though, I think. Or is it? Wait, let me put some of these down too. I could do a stair there instead. I actually kind of like that. But I think it would look better with a stair, maybe. And then we could do like a pointed top up here as well with like something. That could look kind of cool. Oh, scary. Whee! Let's see. Okay, okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Your friend's cat will eat cantaloupe from the dispense. Wait, you have a- Oh my god, I thought you said cantaloupe. I was like, you have an office that has cantaloupe dispensers? What the heck? That is so cool. Celo tape. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. <laughs> yeah, cats are wild. They'll just like, they'll run for anything and you have to be quick enough to get them too. It's always so scary doing that mad dash. You're like, no, stop. Imagine having a cantaloupe dispenser. That'd be wild. I wish I did. I really like cantaloupe. Our cat likes to, likes to chew on plastic. We watch him closely and make sure the piece isn't small. But the moment uh, we think he's trying to eat it. Yeah, you, you got to run and just snatch it from him. Absolutely. Oh. 
Okay. Let's change these ones. I feel like that'll look a little bit better. Mm, no, full block, full block. What if we did it like this though? Nah, they've got to be attached. I like that. That's good. That's good. I just need a wall for the middle part, I think. So we can do a little like pointy thingy. Don't forget to stare on windows. Oh yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I think what we could do the easiest way is to go from like the inside. Oh my gosh. What the heck? There we go. Now I want cantaloupe, cantaloupe, cantaloupe. Me too. I haven't had it in like a hot minute. Oh wait, no, I had some the other day. I bought like a fruit bowl. Oh my gosh, we were literally, we were at the grocery store the other night and we were, we just really wanted fruit so bad, but like, it, you know, it's like late at night, you're too lazy to chop up the fruit. So you're like, oh, what? Oh, I can't. Oh no, no, no. I have to go from the outside. Sorry, I'm like mid story telling a story and then I'm like changing my mind on this. Um, Basically, we went to go pick up some cut up fruit because we were lazy. And one of the trays of cut up fruit, I'm not even talking like a party tray. I'm talking like a little thing of cut up fruit. I don't know if they mislabeled it or what, but it was $25. Huh? $25. It was unbelievable. Like, what is that? $25 for a little bit of cut up fruit. No way. We were, we like screamed when we saw it. We were like, how? How could it be that expensive? There was like literally seven grapes, a couple pieces of cantaloupe, some honeydew. Not enough, not enough to spend $25 on it. But then again, groceries in Canada right now are like actually so insanely expensive. It is absolutely like, it's wild how expensive it is absolutely wild it ain't fair i'll tell you that much i need to actually change i forgot i had to change all of these two you know what i kind of like them at, as dark oak though i changed my mind i want them as dark oak i think i like the little detail Are we talking about experimental maps? I do want to try some of those. They would be very fun. May or may not have plans to try those though. Shh. Maybe. No spoils. No spoils. Boop. Sydney, I'm cat sitting for my boyfriend, so I have three cats in my apartment. It's pure chaos. Are they all getting along or all, are they all like unsure? Hesitant to get along. I don't know why uh, getting myself to take a shower is such a hassle. As soon as I'm in the shower, it's all fine. Now I feel that, I get that. Sometimes it's just like, I don't know. It's, I always have trouble like starting like tasks, if that makes sense. Like even this morning I had to um, get back to like editing videos and stuff and I was struggling so much to start. Once I got started, I was okay. But the process of actually starting something I always struggle with, it's brutal. So I totally get that. What do we fill this part in with? What do you think? Cause we've got deep slate here. I feel like something like would warped wood look too goofy? Or not warped wood, the crimson. I'm trying to think of what could look cool there. Maybe something lighter. What else do we have? I mean, we could use overworld blocks as well. I'm like, would some type of like terracotta, maybe like red terracotta look cool or something? Should make a little village inside the nether? Oh my gosh. Maybe one day, maybe one day when I'm, when I'm like a little bit better with navigating. Gildan, what's going on? So nice to see ya. Y'all are seeing the rising food prices too. It's scary. Oh, it's brutal. Honestly, like, like it is wild how much our food bill has increased. Like 
before i would say like three years ago like obviously we never buy anything too expensive but now we're like genuinely like budgeting very very hard for food and like um what's it? like we're constantly looking for sales before obviously we were like mindful uh, with our food budget but now it's like hardcore hardcore it's really bad we don't eat a lot of meat and stuff either anymore just because it's just so expensive We've had to like change our diet significantly and stuff. It's wild. <clears throat> um, what was I gonna do again? Oh yeah, look for like different types of blocks. The only thing worse than getting into the shower is getting out of it. Yeah, if it's cold outside, I hate that. I was waiting for the Twitch stream, but it never happened. Hope your holiday was amazing. Missed the stream as a new job has been hectic. Arranging my holiday for 2025. Alaska Rail Road Trip. Oh my gosh, Ian. Welcome on in. It's so nice to see you. Yeah, we had to go on to uh, YouTube on Friday because uh, I was at my parents and it was a little bit easier to set up for me. But we should be back on Twitch uh, this coming Friday. So, so nice to see you though. And that is very exciting. Alaska Road Trip sounds amazing. What a dream. Okay, we need to find out or figure out what we should do with that top part of the build. I'm trying to think, I feel like terracotta could be kind of cool if we did like red terracotta maybe, mixed with maybe some of like the wart block. I need some dye though. Actually, let's do roses because I have so many of them. We definitely need, I saw soul lanterns mentioned in chat. I think that's also a really good idea. Ooh, diorite or calcite. You know what? You're right, the lightness, the lightness. So I'm gonna bring those as an option too. Diorite, that's it. That might be the one. He could be the one. He could be the one. Do I have any calcite? Yes, I do. He could be the one. I think the, um, what's it called? The quartz could be cool, but it is, it's a little bit too, this build is a little bit more messy. Like that's too like nice, you know? Too nice looking. No two entrance today, but tootin' in spirit. <laughs> Heck yeah. Love to see it. So good to see you, Ian. I'm glad you're doing well. I hope work is going well, too. My weekly shop is now nearly $100, 100 euros a week, if I'm not careful. Three to four years ago, it was 50 to 60. Yeah, exactly the same for us. It is wild. It's so bad. And there's, like, certain grocery stores here that are, like, upselling everything like crazy. Because, like, we have, like, different... I'm sure this is, like, the same as other countries where you have, like nicer grocery stores versus ones that are like discount like i've always shopped discount but we've gone to some of the nicer ones to, to see the prices and stuff and they're selling things like boxes of chicken fingers for like literally 25 dollars huh what are you doing like how is that even sustainable it's wild how can anybody afford that Too bland and smooth for quartz. Exactly. That's what I'm kind of thinking. I'm thinking the mix of diorite, especially with like polished and then the calcite. I think that's the way to go. Good suggestion for sure. I want to thank you for choosing uh, my camel name, Charlington Duke the Third. I had to pause and rewind to make sure I caught that right. Oh my gosh. Yes, that was such a good name. There's always so many good name suggestions too. You're all like so, so good at it. Charlington. What a classic, what an actual classic. <laughs> I'm so happy you, you were able to uh, see that in the video. So, so happy. Good times, we gotta, we gotta like bring the camels back sometime. I kind of just like, I was like, you guys take care of this place. Cause I'm not walking home with you. <laughs> classic me. Okay, let's see how this looks. Yes, that is, that is the one. That is the one. 
That looks so good. Okay, cool. Queen, welcome on in. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Okay, let's let's do this from the inside. This one will work a little bit easier the other way. Charlington giving me Red Dead uh, 2 vibes. Oh my gosh. All of our horses. Michael. Y'all remember Michael? Oh no! Help me. I struggle when I want to start studying. Yeah, I get that. I remember when I was like in college and stuff having to study. Bah. Could not be bothered. Made chicken biryani uh, from scratch last week, so I had to head over to the Indian grocery store. Man, was everything there expensive? It smelled so good in there, though. Yeah, groceries be wild right now. Absolutely wild. Hope that meal was good, though. Oh, we need to add a little bit more dark oak here. I didn't even notice that. What the heck? Probably because of the way that I did the roof. Huh. I will go down very quickly and get some more. Yeah, we'll add some trapdoors and lanterns and stuff when we detail for sure. For sure. I wish like, I know, I think the wart block is really cool as a building block, but I wish there were trees in the nether that had like more of a leafy texture to them. You know, I would love that. Wish that was a thing. I hear the piglins or the hoglins. They're coming after me. Whenever I see Red Dead 2, I always think it's R2D2. Me too, in my brain, I'm always like, huh? Knew that was gonna happen when the dimension started to fade out. You were just waiting. You were like, I'm not even I'm not even gonna say it. Just gonna let it happen. <laughs> Wait, did I not put that in my inventory? What's going on? What the heck? Oh my gosh. Chat, I'm all over the place. I am all over the place. Getting back into the groove of Minecraft after vacation. And then just the hectic week. Boy, oh boy. Just got out of uh, MC. Actually having the four portals is brilliant. It keeps the uh, mobs in and it looks dope as heck. I didn't even consider that it would keep the mobs in either. Yeah, I love I love doing like the uh, four portals. I love it. It's always my favorite. Very good now. I used to just do like the, actually, you know what? Like the, the flat ones can be cool, obviously, but like I've just really been, oh, I fell. <laughs> Yeah, I've really been into this style lately, for sure. If this catches on fire because of the the dark oak, one, I deserve it, and two, I'm going to be very sad. This is starting to come together, though. Pay attention. Aw, but I like to pay attention to you guys. Come on. Tips for studying. Make a dedicated space for work to help get in the right mindset. Some people like to listen to music or ambience during. Have a beverage nearby. Maybe light a candle. That is actually such good advice. You're so right. Like, you just gotta, like, have the right, like... Have the right mood and stuff. Do, 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 do. It's the same thing with work, really, too. I find that if, like, my workspace is, like, all cleaned up and, like, everything's where it should be, I have all of my stuff out, I have water, then I'm good to go for the most part. But the torch is exactly where I needed to go. Classic. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Um, bum, bum, ba -dum. I keep lighting this as if mobs are going to spawn in here, but they wouldn't, right? Because what would spawn? Unless things do spawn in the dark in the nether? I don't know. <clears throat> okay, I think that's... That is the way to go. Heck yeah, that's cute. I'll never forget Wax's build that he did in Bloodlines, the nether, um, like his hub. 
So cool. I remember going in there and literally it was so bright that it like blinded me, which is wild. Cause like this area is so dark. I'm struggling to see right now. I thought that was just like the coolest, most like contrasty thing I'd ever seen. Oh yeah, hydrate, stretch if you have to. I'm gonna hydrate as well. Also chat, if you're enjoying this stream, definitely leave a like, cause it, it really helps out. It really helps out the stream. Oh, look at me, through a window. Hoglins are the only mobs that can spawn there? Oh, okay, okay. I was gonna say I can handle them, but I, I can't. I cannot. Tower is gorgeous with the right amount of creepy vibes. Heck yeah, thank you. I'm, I'm really happy with how it's turning out. At first I was like, where are we going with this? And now I'm like, oh no, this is like kind of a vibe. So for stretches, you suggest backflips. Shroud, what is your life? And how are you just, how are you just able to do all of these things? All of these chaotic things. Do you ever, do you just think that is chaotic? I must learn it. Okay, let's go up here for the final one. When I was younger, one time to study for a math test, I played a game with uh, my IRL webcams where I was teaching them what I needed to learn. Didn't go well, but the science, I stand behind. Wait, what are, what are webkins? I, I think I've missed out on this. What are those? Oops. One block. Too high. Did you add, uh... Spore blossoms to the overworld area. I don't know if I did. I don't remember. I'll have to check. Okay, I think that's looking good. How do we make soul lanterns again? Kind of forget. I hear some anger bacon. I, that is my new favorite, new favorite word for them. They are anger bacon. <laughs> don't. Don't make me, don't make me laugh. I'm gonna wheeze. I'm gonna wheeze if I laugh. <laughs> oh, I hear him too. Bruh. <laughs> okay. Uh, soul lanterns. Soul torch. Soul sand, sticks, and charcoal or coal. Easy. We have so much nearby. I can grab just a ton of that. Easy. Easy. Stuffed animals with online code so you can interact with them online. Maybe an American thing. Ooh, I never heard of those. Never heard of them. I don't think, I'm not sure we had those in Canada. That is something I would have loved as a kid though. Absolutely would have loved that. God, the disturbing sound this sand makes is literally just the worst. It is the worst. It's terrifying. I do not like it. Okay, I'm gonna run back. We're gonna make a ton of soul lanterns. Ooh, oh, whoa! Kinetics! Holy! Thank you so much for gifting five memberships. Thank you so, so much. I really, really appreciate that chat. You know what to do. You know what to do. Big, big swags in chat for kinetics. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Very, very kind. Very kind. And everybody who has gotten a gifted membership from kinetics, um, enjoy all of the emotes and all of that stuff. And big, big thank you to kinetics. Big thank you. That is so kind. All right, we're gonna need lots of sticks. We're gonna need some coal. I don't think I have my furnace in here, so we're gonna have to go back to the overworld quickly. Um, I don't know if leaves would look very good in the nether. We're gonna have to find different ways to decorate this for sure. 
Definitely soul lanterns, chains would look good. Maybe pop out a couple more windows or something in here too, possibly. Azzy, I'm reading your message as if Brian, Brian is saying it. Good old Brian, classic. Snow, homie, what's going on? So good to see ya. How you doing? How you been? Okay, what do we... What do we need to light this thing up? The way that... Oops. The way that wa Wax used, like, the lava in Bloodlines, I'm still like, how did he do that? Where he, like, lit everything up with lava. I wish I could, but at the same time, I did also use... I also did use a material that will burn to a crisp, so we're kind of, that's kind of out of the question. So I need a bunch of sticks. I'm gonna make some soul lanterns. They don't really give off any light, but they'll look cute, won't they? Let's do some of these. Then I think we can probably do... Actually, let's make a couple more. Make a couple more. Woohoo! Frog lights would be really nice. The problem is we don't have any frogs either. That's like a, that's definitely like a full stream task too. What shaders do I use? I use complimentary shaders. Azalea leaves always keep their color if you want to use them. Oh, maybe we can use those then. A couple leaves here and there, you know, just, just spruce it up a little bit. Just a little bit. I think having some like regular torches would be nice, or not torches, lanterns. Could be nice too, just to kind of lighten it up a little bit more, you know? Fire? <laughs> Use fire and just like completely lose all of the progress that we've made. All of it. <clears throat> yeah, no spore blossom in the overworld. We'll have to change that for sure. I think I've got a couple spare, to be honest. Boop, boop, boop. Get a couple more of these dudes. Lava moat around the tower. That's true. We could do like a moat style thing. Could do a moat style style thing for sure. The way that Waxy did it, he like contained it in glass, I think. You know? Hold on, sorry, just taking a sip of tea. Infinite draft. Snow, snow, snow. Making a whole roast chicken in under an hour with gravy and served on top of chips. Oh, that sounds so good. I'm so jealous. Honestly, I miss UK chips. They're so much better than like anything we have in Canada. Why are they so good? I think like out of all, like every meal I had, I did not have a, a single bad chip that went with it, you know? I think I hear the wandering trader. So I think that's my cue to run, a, like run away in the opposite direction and go back into that portal. We could use soul fire too, yeah. Probably, I think the light level's a little bit lower, but we could add some stuff around, you know? Glass lava lamp, exactly. Exactly. The thing is, you got to be so careful with that. You just had chip shop for dinner. Oh, so jealous. What'd you get from it? Do you just get like chips or do you get like kebab with it and stuff? Cloud, welcome on in. How you doing? Oh, I'm so jealous. I want chips now. We have leftover pasta and I'm excited for it because it was good. But what I would do for some chips. Howdy, minnow. Howdy. Oh, it's 13 on soul fire, fire and 14 on normal one. Oh, okay, that's not bad. That is not bad. Okay, let's add some chains. Maybe like two and then we get soul lantern. Oops, we cannot do that because <laughs> that is a slab. That is indeed a slab. Hmm. 
What I could do is I could add like maybe a little piece here. I'm trying to think, or maybe it would look better if it was a full block. Let's see. Just lost that chain to the void. What does it look like? Uh, it's actually not really terrible. If I just like fill it all in in the bottom, I don't think that looks too bad. I don't really mind that. It just gives it like a little bit more like weight, if that makes sense. I don't really mind that. Watching your channel since 2020, I finally caught you live for the first time. Love your content. Oh, Withered, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And thank you so much for popping in. You can't move after your meal. Yeah, no, I, 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 I feel that. It was, sounds heavy. Chips covered in barbecue sauce, cheese, and chicken, but that sounds delicious. I wish I had that. Wish I had that. You're gonna, you're gonna be digesting that for a while though. I had kimchi chips for the first time a few years ago. I'm obsessed with them now. Oh, kimchi chips, yum. There's um a restaurant that I went to that did like French fries with ramen seasoning. It was so good. I want it again. Chips or poutine? I've never had either. You know what, poutine if I'm feeling it. I love poutine. No hate on poutine ever. It is delicious. I don't care what anybody says. It's greasy. It's the perfect like late night food, but it, you gotta be in the mood for it for sure. Chips if you're having like a burger, I would say. Poutine if you're like kind of having that on its own. There's this like restaurant, fast food restaurant called Harvey's. Apparently they just came out with like a deep fried pickle poutine. So they literally just throw two deep fried pickles on top of the poutine. And when I tell you, I want that, I really do. I don't think that sounds disgusting in the slightest. I think that sounds delicious. There's no such thing as terrible builds. The moment you put your heart into it, you'll love it. You know what? I totally agree with that. Totally agree. It's so funny. Sometimes I'm like way too like critical of my own builds. And then like, I'll go back to it the day later, like a day later, I'm like, it wasn't even bad. It just needed some detail. Even though I always panic. Oh my God, losing my voice. Panic while we're doing this. I'm always like, oh my gosh, it doesn't look right. We always have to say, trust the process. The amount of times I have to say that to myself every single time. Are those chips flavored like kimchi or kimchi dried out into chips? Either way, I'm here. Both options sound delicious. Extra welcome on in, how you doing? I had poutine twice when I was in Ontario and the curds didn't squeak. Oh, you didn't get an authentic poutine then. Oh no, you gotta get the squeaky cheese curds. Gotta get the squeaky cheese curds. There's this place in Toronto called um, Smokes. And unfortunately, they're, they're our biggest chain in Ontario and they don't have the squeaky cheese curds. Their poutine is still pretty good. Don't get me wrong, but like, it's definitely not authentic poutine. <clears throat> bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, ba -dum. Gotta go to therapy. Good luck on the stream. Oh, no worries. I hope it all goes well. Thank you so much for popping in. I appreciate it. And I, um, I hope it all goes well for you. Just gonna add some like little detail to the beams of these portals now. I saw that I wanted it so badly. I love pickles. The fried part was strange though. Oh, deep fried pickles. No. No, they're so good. And you like dip them in like ranch. Oh my gosh, so good. If you ever, if you ever uh, make it back to Toronto, highly recommend trying out like a deep fried pickle. It does sound kind of weird. Cause you're like, how could you deep fry a pickle and have it be good? Cause you're like, I feel like the pickle would go like nuclear hot, but it, if you let it cool down, it's, it's so good. <laughs> let the curd squeak. Exactly. 
A good cheese curd will always, always squeak. I feel like that kind of ruined it. Especially because I went like up in like a weird diagonal. Uh oh. I think I should have just let them be, if I'm honest. I think I made a mistake. And there's a ghast nearby. I'm scared. I am very scared in this moment. I am unsure how to approach this situation. I think I'm just gonna ignore it, maybe? I don't think it can see me. You know what? I think just letting the beams be is the way to go, for sure. Next time you come to the UK, I want you to try this Canadian place in London that has poutine because I want to know if it's real before I go. Oh my gosh, absolutely. I will be I will be the test subject. Absolutely. <coughs> I will absolutely be the test subject. What is it called? Okay, we're we're changing this back. We're changing this back. I'm not a picky eater, but I can't do cheese and squeaky cheese. It makes me feel ill just at the thought of it. Nah, I feel that. It definitely is not for everybody. Definitely not. It's sometimes it's just like textures. You're just like, they're not meant to be for me, you know? Not meant to be. And that's okay. Okay, that is a little bit better. We're gonna leave that as is. Just feel like it's a, oh! <laughs> a little bit too much. So I wanna add some detail to these guys now. I think what I'm gonna do is add in probably some, I was thinking planter box, but I'm like, I don't know if a planter's appropriate. Maybe like a little slab on the bottom if I have any. A lantern maybe, and then some like trap doors and stuff. I'm kind of feeling the spruce trap doors for this one though, cause it looks a little bit more medieval. The, the dark oak ones just aren't a vibe, you know? I wish we had like the modded options for the dark oak trap doors. Those noises are actually terrifying right now. Okay, we gotta go back home really quickly and grab some spruce. Now you want snacks? Me too. I gotta take a break soon and uh, definitely grab a snack. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh, no, not you. Not you. I refuse. Did they just hit the bee? What the heck? Oh, oh, what is happening? This is a nightmare. Never thought I'd say this, but get me back to the nether. Come on. How does the cheese squeak? I don't know. It's like... It's because it's just like firm mozzarella cheese and the poutine, like the cheese curds are supposed to be like really cold when they go on top. So it, it just becomes like kind of like a weird squeaky rubbery cheese. I, I feel like that doesn't sound appetizing, but trust me, it's really good. It's very good. This is making me hungry. I'm gonna have to go uh, to the taqueria when the stream is over. Oh, so jealous, so jealous. I could, I am, yeah, I'm in hungry mode where I could eat anything, anything right now. Anything. I had like a cliff bar for breakfast. That was not enough. Ice cream is wrapped in cornflakes or some other batter than quick fried. Wait, what? Huh? Okay, deep fried stuff always confuses me. Like, what was that trend a long time ago? Deep fried butter? First of all, how does the butter not melt second of all i don't i don't think i could bite into a stick of butter i think it would make me sick i don't even think i could like entertain that idea that's beyond me deep fried butter i've had a deep fried uh mars bar before and it was pretty good but you lose me with the butter jeez so many noises Need some slabbies. Oh, I have some slabbies. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, Shroud, you're winning. You're winning. <laughs> You've done it. <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm wheezing. God. Uh, you have done it. You succeeded. Finally. F 
finally. It just took a little bit of a little bit of encouragement, but I, I got there. I got there. I finally get it. I hate the overworld now. <laughs> Started watching your latest long play yesterday and the creeper coming up the dirt stairs was so funny. <laughs> I was just chasing after me. It was just like, hey. The way creepers look at you when they're literally about to destroy your entire build is so funny because they look a little lost, you know? They don't look threatening. They're just like, hi. All this talk of food is making me hungry. I've only had coffee and it's almost one. Oh my gosh, Red, you got you got to get some lunch. Got to get some lunch. I feel that though. I feel like a cliff bar was like hardly, hardly food. I definitely, definitely need some snacks. I'm like, are lanterns on every sill? Okay, probably. I feel like that's all right. Mm, maybe every other actually, because it's going to be like windows wrapped all the way around, you know? We're going to figure out what to do on the other ones. Squeaky cheese uh, that has a high percentage of fillers in it. What's squeaking is the filler material. Usually, usually a plastic. Am I eating plastic? Paula Dean has been summoned with the mention of butter. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that lady. I have not heard that name whispered in years. My God. Let's let's keep that back in back in the past. What about red vines uh, in the corners? Ooh, that's a good idea. For a second, because we were talking about food, I thought you meant the candy red vines, which we don't have in Canada. I was like, oh, red vines, yeah. But I like that. The butter's super old when it's dipped into batter, so some butter melts into the batter, but not all of it. That sounds so bad. Wait, Azzy, I missed the I missed the name. I missed the name. Maple Leaf. Oh, it's called Maple Leaf. Yeah, they they want people to know it's Canadian without being like Tim Hortons, you know? How are you? Um how yes, how are you? How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Just vibing today, honestly. Absolutely vibing today. Getting back into the swing of streams and all of that stuff. I was actually very excited to come back to working on this tower because I was like, I cannot leave it unfinished. We're gonna have to fix this platform though. I'm kind of lost on what to do with it, but at least the tower, if we get like pretty much all of this done today, I'll be satisfied. You're trying to play Graveyard Keeper? Yo, that game is hard. I played that game a long time ago and it like, it is a challenge. I think I'd like to give it, oh no, 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 no! No! <laughs> oh, is nothing on fire? <gasps> Did I get really lucky and it just hit the stone? Oh my gosh, don't tell me. No way. No shot. <sighs> oh my gosh, I got so lucky there. I should be thankful. I should be very, very thankful. You're about to have a lunch break. You're gonna have Korean noodle bowl with fried egg and avocado. Oh, I am so jealous. That sounds delicious. Mmm. I think it was this dude over there that kind of causing chaos. I don't think I can get to him, though. You want beef bulgogi uh, so bad now? Oh, I haven't had that in a hot minute. So good. Guys, I'm scared. Glass broke? Okay, I, I can I can manage the glass. I can manage the glass for sure. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. It's okay. I'll just, I'll just be safe and go on the other side. What a horrible idea building with wood in the nether. Like I have nobody but to like to blame but myself, so. Okay, a couple of glass panes lost. It's that's no sweat. That's no sweat at all, honestly. I hear him. I am going away now. The vines will just grow on their own, right?
What building in the nether feels like hardcore mode? Honestly, like, why did I make this choice? I was like, no, I must do it. We've already had like one accident as well. Well, two now, because I, I would consider the the glass panes also damage. That was vandalism. It's vandalizing my build. Plan to go back to SK in April for another vacation? Oh, nice. Heck yeah. How long are you going to be going for? Try what uh, you said earlier. Wait, what did you say again? I forget. Cognitive drift has forgotten. Surprise, surprise. Bum 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 ba dum bum 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 I went down too low. Bum 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 bum. Bum bum bum. Excellent, excellent. There we go. Gas are terribly rude. Should keep their ouchy sneezes to themselves. I love calling it a sneeze. I've never thought of that. It's kind of cute. If it wasn't so destructive, I'd, I'd be like, I love them. I don't. Yeah, I changed. I finally changed my name in the Discord. Moon, I saw your message and I was like, oh my gosh, the irony in me forgetting to change my name in this Discord to Cognitive Drift. It was, it was not lost on me. I thought that was so funny. What a great name. Honestly, I deserve it. I deserve it. Ouchie sneezes. I love that. Are these trap doors? Yeah, those ones are like swung wide open. Oops, I did not mean to do that. That's okay. I will leave it. I'll just do that down for these ones. There we go. Wahoo. Go back up, drop a lantern here. It's starting to come together. Starting to come together. What are we uh, working on? So we're working on just like a portal tower for the nether, just cause I'm like, I've never actually built like a hub before. So I kind of thought it would be fun. Honestly, even though the nether for me is not typically very fun. I, th I, I was like, why not? <gasps> I forgot plank down there. I did the same thing on this side too. Those are both swung wide open, but you know what? That's okay. That is a-okay. Is this the side that I forgot the plank on? No, it's this one. I don't even know how we got onto this idea. I kind of forget, but it just kind of happened the other day and we've been working on it since and I'm very happy. Creepers are strangely cute. I think so. Loving the drift tunes. You should make your own background music for your streams. Let me going do, 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 do. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. I feel like that would work well in a pixel game. If I ever make my own uh, pixelated 8-bit game, I'll, I'll soundtrack it with my singing. <laughs> oh, I forgot the, um, I forgot this part because it's broken. We'll have to go back and fix that. Hee <laughs> hee. Such a cool idea for another base. Oh, heck yeah. Heck yeah. It, yeah, I find it's like, I struggle with inspiration for nether bases as well because I don't really like building in them. You know what I mean? So I'm always like, I don't really... It's it's a lot harder to build something if you're kind of uninspired. But ever since we've like started working on this, I've been like 
having a lot of fun with it. This has definitely kind of like opened up my eyes a little bit with working in the nether. Cool. All right, those are all done. Order of mob cuteness, creepers, ghasts, wardens. Wardens aren't even on that list for me. They're scary. Wardens are mad scary. This is looking cute. I like it. We need way more light, but hey, it's coming together. One thing that's just like kind of driving me nuts while I'm building though, I will say is at least I'd like to expand this platform out a little bit more. Just so we have a little bit more room to walk around. Finally gonna make another roof hub. I've never been to the roof. Oh, once you go to the roof, honestly, game changer for sure. It's literally life-saving. I, I like, um, I delayed doing it for such a long time. And when I finally set it up, I was like so thankful that I had finally done it. Hot showers. I, I would say I'm like, I'm like warm showers. I don't like too hot. Otherwise I feel like my skin is on fire. I would, I definitely say I'm like, I'm, I'm warm, but if the, if the weather's like very cold, then I go way, way hotter than I usually do. Oh yeah. I wanted it more secure. That's what I wanted. That's why I had all these walls up and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like no matter what, from every angle, it's been kind of breached at this point. <laughs> blaze farms are the worst to build, but XP and infinite fuel are worth it. Yeah, blaze farms are one that I've been like genuinely, another one where I'm like too afraid to try. I think like I would, I would prefer to do like a gold farm before I even attempted a blaze farm. Cause I know those can be kind of tricky and like resource intensive, but blaze farms I heard are just like wild. I remember one day I like saw Bruno uh, building one and it just looked like actual chaos. There was just so much screaming, <laughs> so funny. If anybody can handle something like that, that though, it's always Bruno. You like Endermen? You know what? Despite the fact that I have, like Endermen are usually the things that get me in this game. Despite that, I think Endermen are kind of chill. You know, they're just vibing. They're always just like standing there. I just like, I kind of get the vibe that like they have like a cool kids club that like they just don't even want you to be part of. I'm a little bit sad about that, but what can I do? They're just living their lives, you know? They're just living. I used to be, I think Enderman, I used to be actually genuinely the most afraid of though. Like if I even saw one or heard one of the noises they make, I would actually like scream in terror. <laughs> I used to be way more afraid of this game than I am now. It's so funny. Ah. There we go. It's a little bit wider. So if we do like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11, I think like 11 on every side. I'm gonna fill this back in. I don't think it needs to be like one lower. I don't mind it being like flush to the deep slate here. Yeah, if we end up going like 11 on every side, I think that would be kind of cool. There's just gonna be a lot of clearing to do. I mean, we can do that. I think it'll look just better if it was all cleared out. We do need a little bit more detail. I don't want to over detail it, but at the same time, we need like, a couple more things. I'm trying to think like something up here would look kind of cool. I'm not exactly sure what though. Oh no, I see a ghast. Oh, hi. Maybe some like, I don't know. 
I kind of like how minimal it is in some ways. Got a couple of jokes for you? Let's hear it. When did the dragon's meal get interrupted? Around midnight. <laughs> I'm wheezing. I'm wheezy today. I'm weak. Don't get me. I'm weak. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, God. Where do you find books about oil in the library? In the non-friction section. That one's- that's the best one. Stop it. I gotta mute my mic to laugh. Okay, I'm- I'm back. Are you throwing tomatoes? Are you throwing tomatoes at Johnny? <laughs> Kinetics, are you throwing tomatoes? <laughs> that is my new favorite thing. That is incredible. Uh, I made my boyfriends do some deep dark- deep dark adventures with me and we spawned in so many wardens. It was heaven! Shroud, your mind is a mysterious place. Mysterious place. How do you handle all of this? Wardens are the most terrifying thing in the world. Oh my. Oh my. All my tools are about to break. Okay, what do you say we take like a quick little break? We head to the skelly farm to like repair some of our stuff. And then we can expand this platform out a little bit. Just so we have some more like breathing space around here. Cause I think that's what we're missing right now is just, just some breathing space around this thing. And then maybe we could kind of like light it up in some spots. If we do that, that means we could like, could cement like some of this stuff into the ground. Kind of like this. We can always cover this stuff up too. I almost feel like doing like this with like orange glass over top would be kind of sweet, you know? I only have glass pane, but we have some back at the base. Oops, bye. Not going back down for that. But little, uh, little glass spots like this would look kind of sick, I think. Okay, this ghast is gonna end my life if I don't leave soon. I think that's my cue to, uh, take a quick little, little break, get some food. For sure. Oh, went all the way around. Hacking, wheezing ASMR. So lovely, isn't it? Yeah, we love a good uh, dad joke here. Yeah, definitely perfect time for the break. In chat, if you are uh, enjoying this stream and want to hit that like button, definitely appreciate it. it. Really helps out streams on YouTube. After having two ancient cities below my base, I find wardens easy to deal with. Two? I think I found one that was a double ancient city before, but oh my gosh, terrifying. I feel like the last season of One Shot, was it Bruno who found like a triple ancient city? It was wild. You must be a pro now for sure. You're afraid of Herobrine? I'm still kind of afraid of Herobrine. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Just a little scared. All right. Break time. We watch the skeletons while we go for break. And I will be back. I'll leave the game running. So I'll be back in a couple minutes. Go stretch your legs and stuff. BRB.
I'm not exactly back yet because I'm toasting bread, but while I wait, I will hit their little feet. <laughs> Oops. I moved my mouse. I am back. We will, uh, we'll sit here while I eat so I can farm all of this. <clears throat> what did I miss? What did I miss? Let's get him. I got, um, I got some just like toast with butter. Ruth sees it though. 
Oh no, she has awoken. The beast has awoken. I hope everybody had a good break though. Yo, you got your dishes done? Nice. Awesome. Now you don't have to worry about those. Just chill. Yeah, Ruth wants Ruth wants the bread. I always want bread too. I'm not even kidding. Bread and butter. Like is there a better combo, you know? I was gonna do peanut butter on one of them, but I was like, no, I just want like, I just need butter today, that's it. Trident and kill chamber, I've never heard of one of those to be honest. Can't blame Ruth, bread is often delicious. Exactly, she's just got exquisite taste. Oh, you have a Milky Way? Those aren't really like common here in Canada. We got a celebrations pack from the UK and brought it back. And there were Milky Ways in there. They're so good. I feel like one of the underrated chocolate bars also are Three Musketeers. It's literally a Mars bar, but without the caramel. So it's just like nougat or whatever, nougat. It's really good though. So like deep fried butter? Yes, exactly like deep fried butter. <laughs> bread? Bread is just deep fried. Toast and butter is just deep fried butter. You're so right. It's got the crumbs. It's got the melted butter. It's the same. <laughs> oh, Milky Way dark but is Milky Way but with dark chocolate. That would be good too, actually. You found a zombie spawner right next to your adopted village, and now I'm trying to decide if I want to add a uh, transform revive part to the XP farm. Wait, what? What is that? I don't think I've heard of that either. Something about my 13th century brain that can't get enough bread and butter, butter for real. Same. Same. German bread is elite. What type of bread is like common in Germany? Isn't Milky Way just a Three Musketeers with caramel? What is the Mars bar then? Isn't Milky Way kind of like the the marshmallowy one? I think so, right? I don't know now. I thought it was like, yeah, I thought it was kind of like a, you know, like that whipped marshmallow that comes in jars. I forget what it's called. It's like whipped or something. You hate caramel, but I adore Three Musketeers. I could eat like 12 of those chocolate bars in a row. Who's spamming? If you if you didn't catch it, I think that means Azzy was on it. Azzy was on it then. Back from your lunch, Milky Way and Snickers are two of my favorite chocolate bars. Yo, Snickers, so good. So good. Especially like the mini ones. The ratio between the chocolate and like the filling or whatever is so much better. Also, how is your lunch, Red? I, um, what was I going to say? I forget. I was just going to say I'm currently eating mine. Milky Way's marshmallow and chocolate. Yes. Is it different in like different parts of the country? Because that's what I had in our celebrations pack from the UK. Yeah, good call, Azzy. Just ban on site for shenanigans like that. Absolutely. We keep it chill here. The 
visited my parents and wanted some of their leftover Halloween candy. They gave away the Milky Ways because they thought nobody liked them. What the heck? L. Isn't that the worst? I would always get stuck. I think they're a Canadian chocolate. They're called O. Henry. There's just like too much like peanuts going on. Like they're like full size peanuts. And I think like a little bit of wafer and some caramel. Those would always be left at the bottom of my bag. I hated them. Yeah, I'm talking with my mouth full. I'm sorry. Mm hmm. Lunch is so tasty. Yeah, noodle bowls with fried eggs on them. Perfect combo. 10 out of 10. Chocolate bars are almost always straight, better straight from the fridge or freezer. Nope, I agree. Totally agree. 100%. I don't know what it is either, but fridge chocolate is so much better. Same with like fridge cake. If you have like cake that's been sitting in a fridge for a bit, I prefer that. Oh dang, Sev, you're on it too. What the heck? They, they're, they're really aggressive today, eh? Raisinets are good. Like glossettes. They're so good. You're back. No worries. No worries. Welcome back. You're my favorite Minecrafter right now. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, raisinets are really good. I haven't had any in a while. Mods are on it today. On it. Day old fridge cake is the best. Oh, absolutely. Once, like if we have birthday cake, honestly, me and Big Tiny Duck don't even cut slices. We're monsters. Because it's the only two, only two of us eating it, we'll just like pull the plate out and just like eat it with a fork and put it back in the fridge when we're done with it. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh no, Ruth is coming. Oh god. I'm almost done my um my toast anyway. So I'm gonna go drop that plate off downstairs and I'll be back. Sev, you have a cloud next to your name because it means you're gassy. Lisa! With the 10! Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. Chat, you know what to do. Can I get some big, big swags in chat for Lisa? Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate that. Candy Fun, do you like peanut brittle? I have not had peanut brittle since I was a child, but when I had it, I really liked it. It's very good. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. All right, I think we're good. You know what? In terms of like, I know we're talking about cake now. In terms of cake, I love boxed cake so much. It is my favorite. Just like boxed vanilla cake with vanilla icing. That's all I need. The more cheap it tastes, the better. Instead at work, so I'm watching until I have something to do. Let's go. Let's go. I hope work is going well, though. How are you today? I'm doing really good. How are you doing, Mummy Bear?
Yeah, it'll it'll hit it'll hit the mods. It'll hit the mods eventually. That's so funny because Azzy's like always active in chat. <laughs> it's just it, the the luck. It's the luck. All right, so I just had to repair my tools. Oh no, I needed more deep slate too. Uh, let's drop off some of this garbage as well. I have a recipe that's super easy to make, but need a microwave, so I might have to save up for that. Yeah, we need a micro. I haven't had a microwave since I've lived in the city because all my apartments have been too small. <laughs> it's it's like a space thing. We've never had enough space for a microwave. Honestly, whenever we move, I think that's like going to be the first thing we get. Like for the longest time, we've been like, we don't need a microwave. It's fine. Now I'm like, you know what? I kind of need a microwave like this. I miss making pizza pockets. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, these are like the most rare. I feel like they're almost like, I don't even know. There's just so, so many shenanigans in chat today. Today's your first day on live calls. Oh, good luck. Good luck. Hope it goes well. Uh, what were we going to do again? Uh, deep slate, deep slate. I think I've got a bunch down in here. There we go. Perfect. I have no room still. I have no room. Because I didn't put things away properly. Don't want that. Where do I even get that stone shovel from? What is, what is that? Why is that? You know? Gonna head to sleep since it's about 4 a.m. I'll post some advice on Discord tomorrow, so bye. No worries. Thank you so much for hanging out, Kaiser. I appreciate it. Hope you get a good rest. Do you like spice cakes? You know what? Spice cakes are pretty good. I enjoy pretty much most cakes. I don't know if there's any cake that I don't really like. I definitely have favorites, but like I will never really say no to cake getting an air fryer literally changed our lives i would love an air fryer you know what else i would love a toaster oven i have always wanted a toaster oven all my life i want to be able to make like really cheesy like toasties pizza pockets you could do anything with a toaster oven Sophia, are you asking for a, uh, a raise? If so, good luck. I hope you get it. Very, very exciting. I re I'm, I'm rooting for you. Okay. We have some serious work to do up here. We got to tear out some of this stuff. Where did I put all my scaffolding? Seriously, where did I put it? What the heck? What the? Oh, there it is. We're gonna we're going into the danger zone. <clears throat> gonna go have dinner. We'll be back later on. No worries. I hope you enjoy your dinner. Hope it's a good one. We're just gonna be kind of vibing and just tearing down some of this stuff for a while. We have a couple hours or not a couple hours. We have about an hour and a half left before I have to go. So uh, I make sure I'm available for the grocery order in time so we got we got a little bit of time left i think we get we can get like a little bit of this uh stuff terraformed you know don't go with the all-in-one appliances they do everything but nothing very well i saw that a lot of like ovens now have air fryers built into them but i was like isn't an air fryer just a small oven like what that doesn't make sense to me Unless I'm misunderstanding how an air fryer works, I thought the whole point of the air fryer was to have like a convenient, like mini oven basically. So I don't know what the deal is with that. Got a toaster oven that does air frying, bagels, toast baking, the works, highly recommend. Oh man, I'm gonna have to get myself one. When we have the counter space one day, when we have the counter space, I'm doing it. I am doing it. I just, I just really want to make toasted sandwiches. Is that, is that too much to ask? Is that too much to ask? Cause now if I, if I want to do that, it's like, 
<laughs> Turn me on the- I feel like the oven just takes so long, especially because ours isn't that great. So I'm like, ah. You don't like red velvet, it's just chocolate with coloring. Yeah, I, I understand why people might not like red velvet, honestly. I feel like that one, when people talk about red velvet, it's either like you love it or you hate it. I wouldn't say it's like my my favorite cake, but I, I do enjoy it. I thought air fryers were tiny convection ovens. Exactly, that's what, that's what I assumed as well. So I don't understand why they're now like technically built into an oven. That makes no sense. I feel like it's just oven companies just panicking me and like, we can make this thing as an air fryer too, I swear. Who knows? I feel like an all-in-one like toaster oven and air fryer. It makes sense to me. You know what I mean? It makes sense that those two would like work well together. Air fryers fry stuff, that's all I know, even though I have one in the house. Sev, you have an air fryer? What the heck? I would, like, I'm just curious as to how they work. Another thing that I don't, that I've always wanted to try is, um, what are they called? Like, crock pots. Those are also super popular. I've never had one in my life, ever. But... I know there's like so many nice recipes you can do with them. You can basically like toss something in there, let it go literally all day. And then by the time you're done work, like your meal's ready. I would love to try one of those one day as well. Why do I have so many shears? What the heck? Oh God, oh, they're all chasing after each other. Uh oh. Yeah, we've, we've opened ourselves up to some trouble. Absolutely. But hey, that's okay. I want it to look nice. I've seen a sandwich girl that lets you seal the edges of your grilled sandwiches. Oh my god, we used to have one of those growing up. I remember that. I don't know how, like, I think it was like you press down on the, the lid and then it kind of like clicked into place and it would like seal the entire thing off. Oh my god, you just brought back like a core memory of our like grilled cheese press that I had in like the early 2000s. Oh my gosh, I remember that. That was a good grilled cheese press. That thing is long gone from my life now. <clears throat> oh, it just means that... Okay, the oven has two modes, regular or convection. Okay, I get it. They're just kind of like, they're like, it's air fryer mode. Crock-Pot versus Instapot. What's the difference between the two? I thought Instapot was just like a brand name. You know what I mean? Kind of like how like tissues and Kleenex is just like the brand name for a tissue, but everyone calls it Kleenex. That's kind of what I thought. Can toast bread in a pan? You absolutely can. You absolutely can make some like killer like toasties and stuff in a pan. But for some reason, I still want that. That sweet, sweet toaster oven. Ah! You have one of those girls we called a sandwich maker in the UK. Uh, ceiling sandwich makers. You love those. That was my childhood. Azzy, you had one too? I'm obsessed. I didn't realize they were like a popular thing. I thought like... I don't know. I thought it was just like a weird function of the sandwich press we had. Like it just so happened to seal it. You ordered a Pokemon crock pot? Wait, what? That's awesome. What's on it though? What kind of Pokemon are on it? Bro, I am not afraid of you anymore. You're so... Actually, you hit pretty hard. That is a little bit terrifying. I'm gonna have to go up from above.
Just make sure to leave a void between the edges of the forest and the platform you make. That way nothing can fall on, on you. <gasps> that is so smart. That is so smart because they are already all the way over there. You are so right. Okay. I kind of made a mess of it now, but that's what we're going to do. And then we could like kind of bridge out with gates and stuff. Instapots are pressure cookers. Okay, I see. Pressure cookers kind of freak me out. I don't know if I would have a pressure cooker. One, I don't know what I would do with it. Two, I'm scared I would somehow mess something up and it would just be catastrophic. Kinetics, thank you so much for the one month membership. I really, really appreciate it. Using this message to let you all, uh, let you all know I could use a grilled cheese. Thank you for the chill time drift. Oh, thank you so much. Chat, you know what to do. Can I get a big, big swag in chat for kinetics? Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Really, really appreciate that. And honestly, same. We are doing, we ordered a bunch of like Wonder Bread this week so we can make uh, grilled cheese. Cause honestly, grilled cheese, like I love a fancy grilled cheese, but I also love a classic grilled cheese that's literally just Wonder Bread and like processed cheese. Like black diamond, uh, cheese slices. So good. Ah! Was there no fo food in my hot bar? Oh yeah, I have the pork now. I forgot about that. Oh wait, it probably, I don't think I grabbed it. Oops. Still living off of our steak, which we are running out of. Oh, there it is. Sweet, sweet pork. Yummy. All right, what does this look like? How much have we torn off apart so far? All right, I've gotten rid of a good chunk of trees. Can probably just get rid of all of this stuff. Is there a Discord server? Yes, there is. The link is a little bit weird right now. Hold on, actually, let me pause just to make sure I don't die in here. I'm gonna grab the link for you because I need to I need to fix the link. Oh yeah, the invite link expires, I see. There you go. There you go. Goodbye. Plenty, plenty of free range bacon. Yeah, we're we're good for food now. So true, so true. We are getting there. I had to find the Discord by going through a link I had to find uh, for Blockdown's older server. That's when I found found it. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to be able to. That's so funny. Yeah, the link has been like. The, we've had some expiration problems. I need to fix it. I I think I can get a permanent link and then we should be good. And I'll, um, <clears throat> I, I'll make sure I put it in my YouTube description. I don't even think it's in like my about me, which is so weird. I thought it used to be. Or maybe I always forgot to put it there all along. There's a lot going on right there, and I'm a little scared trying to avoid it. <laughs> I had to do that. I'm sorry. I had to. <laughs> I feel like I ended up in the worst biome. Actually, you know what? It could be worse. It could be worse, I think. If I ended up in like the Soul Sand Valley, there'd be like a hundred times more ghasts. It would just be like a, a hot mess. This is mining ASMR. Okay, I'm glad you all like it. I'm just like shredding everything up. We'll get rid of some of this stuff going this way. Place down some um, some of the base. And then we can continue in the other directions. 
I always steal my mom's crock pot as soon as autumn uh, hits so I can make Irish stew. Ooh, Irish stew. I love a good stew. Especially if you get like baguette to dip it in. So good. So good. It's so funny, two months ago, with like the warmer weather, you could not pay me to eat soup. Like literally, they would have been like, no, I can't. And now I'm like, I could eat soup every single day. Drift is scared. I am always scared. I am especially scared right now though, Sev. Especially scared right now. Okay, so this goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's good. I think what I'm gonna do is what Lisa suggested. Make the cutoff so they can't like they can't get by. And then get rid of this one. And this is one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. I'm gonna double check. Eleven. Perfect. And we're just gonna place. I think I might go out by one more block so I can place like a little like wall thing if that makes sense. So we'll go out by 12 blocks and then I can kind of just do this along the way. Need food. Is Castaway's over? No, not yet. We are, um, it will be wrapping up soon, but we are still all working on episodes. I've been a little bit behind on mine because of uh, vacation time and stuff like that, but I am working on an episode this week. So there should be one soon. Let me double check. One, two, three, four. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I think that's fine. Might have to like build the wall double high too, but that's okay. Bro. Oh god, all these sounds are just so gnarly. What are y'all doing? Yeah, the finale is uh coming up very, very soon for castaways. It's one of those things where we're all so sad that it's gonna be over soon, but we had so much fun doing it, honestly. What a fun time. This is my first time actually catching your live. Uh, I always have to watch them after they're posted. This honestly made my day. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate you popping in. So happy you were able to join. I hope you're having a great Monday. I promised myself I would do one productive thing today, and that is go get groceries, which I will be doing as soon as stream done. Yeah, groceries is a big one. Definitely, definitely get those groceries. Okay, I feel like if we do 11 all the way around and it's like, whatchamacallit, a square. I was looking for the word square. That'll actually look pretty cool. And then we could kind of enclose it. I don't know what we could enclose it with, but I feel like we could do something kind of cool. Now I'm starting to think like, what if we built a nether city? <laughs> oh God, no, I can't do this. I can't do this to myself. Do I like doing this? I don't know, chat. I'm kind of, I'm kind of vibing with this, you know? This project's been like, I guess maybe a head scratcher in some ways. Cause it's like trying to figure out how to rummage through like all of this junk. Oh God. And also, these dudes, which you're just free food at this point. I'm not afraid of you anymore. Come on. Weak. So weak. But I'm like, imagine if we did like an enclo like enclosed little spaces with pathways and like little builds and stuff. Maybe, it, maybe this is my calling. Maybe this is my calling. Don't tell Shroud I said that. Ah! 
I was looking at chat. Because you're all still talking about so much good food. I'm so excited for dinner tonight, honestly. You'll miss Castaway so much. Me too, Seb. Me too. It was so much fun, though. That's the thing. It's always hard to, like, make the decision on, like, when to end an SMP and stuff. I think we made the right choice with, like, making something a little bit shorter term. Especially because, like, er like, around this time of year, things get very busy for a lot of people with, like, holidays and just, like, just life. So I, th I think it's like the right call, but doesn't mean it's easy, you know? Uh-oh. Just broke that. They are desperately trying to get to me. Bunch of, bunch of dummies, honestly. Look at you. Oh, my scaffolding. Oh, oh no, they found a way down. Do I have a bow? Oh no, I don't think I do. I can take him. Do you think I can take him? Give me my scaffolding. Oh, he can't even get down. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Easy. Easy. There's a magma slime? Wait, where? Oh gosh. Are you are you tricking me? Are you playing a good old trick on, on old Drifty? Yeah, we could do like fortress walls around stuff. Oh! Oh, like the magma slime, like will they spawn, Azzy, if I like do like a giant flat surface? Yeah, if we just put, if we just put frogs around, then we'll be safe. Oh, you're telling Shroud? No, keep it a secret. Keep it a secret, chat. I thought we could keep that between us. Come on. Come on. I hate getting rid of this stuff. I'm just gonna like send it honestly just took away half my hearts but you know what it was worth it or was it i'm scared you want to do another fortress so bad but majority of the time i'm on friend servers so it gets very sketchy you don't enjoy hoglins me neither me neither i i do not enjoy them at all and i do feel like i'm just waiting for something bad to happen i can't believe i've lasted this long Helmet gonna break any minute. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh gosh! That thing is almost a goner. <laughs> Three months wasn't even that short. Um, it was ton. It was enough time to get tons of episodes. Oh, it's kind of perfect timing. Yeah, exactly. It still gives you enough time to like flush out like a pretty good like base and do like some really fun collabs and stuff. I think. I think that's kind of like the one thing I've learned with SMPs is having, especially if you're going story driven, having something with like, that's a little bit shorter can be beneficial for sure. And especially if people are aware that there's an end date so they can kind of like have an idea of like how big they want to build their base because of that. Allows them to like more properly plan rather than decide like, oh, hey, this SMP is suddenly going to end ah! in a couple months, right? I was falling, but I think the vine caught me. I don't even know what happened there, honestly. <laughs> Something just happened. I was like, what? where am I going? Where, Where is this taking me? Jeez, chopping all this down is such a pain. I wish that the shroom stuff just like, I wish it just like despawned. <laughs> Brittany, welcome on in. How you're doing? How, how are you doing? <laughs> Jeez, my brain is fried. How are you doing? And I am having a great day, thank you. So excited to uh, be able to stream this today. We are working on our tower. Right now we're just clearing out stuff around it. Just so it can be like exposed a little bit more and we're gonna build like a giant thing around it. Although I've just learned that magma are probably gonna start spawning on that platform and I need to figure out how to deter them because that's not good. You can also plant the blue mushrooms and the hoglins will be scared of them. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Wait, if I just plant them around me, will they just then not come near me? Or do I just have to have one like holstered, you know? 
I always forget that's a trick. Please do something about your helmet. This thing's about to do it for me. <laughs> what do I do? I, ah! I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do about my helmet. It's about to break. It's about to go. You know what? Oh! Oh my gosh. Oh my god. If I hit one of those, I'm done for. This is slowly starting to turn a little bit chaotic and I'm getting a little bit nervous. Um, in terms of the helmet, I don't really know what to do. <laughs> I have more diamonds. I mean, I could go repair it. I could go like combine it with another helmet so I get respiration. Should we go give ourselves a fancy new helmet? How is your doing? <laughs> I love when I mess up my words. Classic. You're so cold. Uh, you're freezing. Same, Sev. Our electricity, well, our heating has been like really expensive lately, so we're just, we're just bundling up at this point. Food is expensive. Eating's expensive. Apparently breathing is probably now expensive too. It's all expensive, honestly. Ah! Oh, no, you don't see me. You don't see me. Ah! Ah! Has to be planted around me for the mushrooms, okay. Fancy helmet, let's go repair it. Okay, let's go repair it. Adulting is very expensive, it's stressful. Oh, I keep going around the wrong way. It's so cold in the UK right now with um Storm Debbie. I have my heating on higher than normal. Is the heating still really expensive in the UK? I remember it was like last year you guys went through like some really bad energy crisis. Has it gotten a little bit better? Lightning Cab, welcome on in. How you doing? Found your channel today when playing Minecraft. Got to say love your builds and content. Keep up the great work. Oh, Vanishing, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And welcome on into the stream. I hope you're having a good one. Let's drop off some of this stuff. How many is it for a helmet? One, two, three, four, five. It is. So do I just like make helmet? Enchant? Oh, I should probably sleep. Can't believe I hated on summer all summer. Now I miss the warm days when it was actually bright outside. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. The time change has really messed me up too. I think it was also coupled with the fact that we had some jet lag when we came back, which is pretty much gone now, but like 5.30, it feels like it's nine o'clock. I'm not used to that. You love the dark, it's easier on your eyes. I like, I have not adjusted to it yet though. I think it's like tripping. I think once I understand that 5.30 is dark now, I'll be okay. But I, I'm certainly struggling for sure. Oops, what did I do that for? Let's enchant some lapis. Oh, <gasps> fire protection, look at that. We can just combine these two now, right? You prefer it being too hot, Azzy? I can't do it. I can't do it. I wish, I wish I liked the heat. I wish I liked summer activities too. You had tons of migraines in the summer. Yeah, I feel like heat can definitely take a whole, a toll on you. Not, not whole. Jeez. You'd rather be cold than hot, me too. Cause at least you can bundle up if you're, Helmet E. <laughs> I'm definitely just gonna name it. <laughs> it's staying like that. Helmet E. Yeah, at least with the cold you can bundle up though. That's how I feel about it. The price has gone down now. I'm not turning my heating off now till April. Yeah, I I had some friends in the UK who were talking about how, like the fact that they were like, we're not even turning our heating on. We just had to bundle up. Like that's wild. It's 
still bad, but much better than last year. And thankfully not as bad as places like Germany. My friends are dying out there. Oh, it's so brutal. It's like literally such a basic thing for survival. You know what I mean? Like, how is it that expensive? You work nights. Oh, so you missed the daylight at the beginning of your shift. Yes. Because right now it's just like you wake up at 6 a.m. It's just so dark. That sucks. I kind of forgot about how it affects the morning, too. Like, right now, it's 3 o'clock, and the light that's, like, coming through my window, it looks as if the sun... Like, because the sun is setting soon, but it looks like 5 o'clock right now, kind of. It's wild. After daylight savings ended for me, it was so weird to have the sun setting in the early afternoon. I really like cold weather, though. Yeah, me too. I'll definitely take the cold weather, but yeah, adjusting to the darkness takes some time for me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ow! Bro, ow! Oh my god. Free food. We're getting there. We're getting there. I just think those, this will look so much better when it's like actually exposed. You know what I mean? I don't even necessarily mind if there's some walls surrounding it, but just want to have that the same width all around. Four five six seven eight nine ten eleven over there i'll recount so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then we'll go 12 for the wall something like that speaking of sun a moment ago i was talking about let me close my curtain There we go. Could not see a thing. That's better. I work at 7 and go home at 7.30 p.m. Oh my gosh, that's a long, long shift. Yeah, I always hated that feeling if you had like certain shifts where you basically essentially did not see the sun. That was always such a bummer. Me drying my hair to get a fake warm breeze. Oh my gosh, Sev. Do you have a heated blanket? Heated blankets definitely help. I have the heat on due to health problems, of course. Uh, my four kittens need to be kept warm. They're just getting over cat flu due to weather change. Okay, do your cats get like little like seasonal illnesses too? Uh, Ruth, when we first got her, it said she had like minor respiratory isu issues. And like now pretty much like every fall, she gets like a little, she gets sneezy. Ow, why are they coming after me? What did I do? Ow, I never did anything to you. Bro, I'm out of here. Oh, he's going through. Not my problem. See you on the other side. Except not, because I'm never going back. Yeah, Ruth had, like, respiratory issues before we got her. And now I find, like, every, every fall she gets the sniffles. It is the cutest but saddest thing in the world. She just sneezes so much. And I feel so bad. I thought there was one more block here. Guess not. Are you making the platform a circle? I know how much you love those. <laughs> oh. You know what? Okay, Azzy, in all seriousness, you know what I think would actually look better? I'll do a square first, but I feel like a diamond shape would actually look really cool. <laughs> I'm not doing a circle though. No, I will not this time. We'll stick with our square for now. And I, I personally actually genuinely think that uh, a diamond will look kind of cool. Why are they all coming after me? What did I ever do to you? Did I accidentally hit you? 
Don't stop it. Like, get away from my stuff. Like, I, this is like literally a construction zone. That's like me walking in front of somebody at a construction site who is about to hammer a wall, literally like mid swing. And then I walk in front of it out of nowhere and they can't react. And then I get mad at them for swinging the hammer. Like that's what these, these dudes are doing to me. Like, what's your problem, man? Jeez. If we want to avoid winter forever, we can move to the southern hemisphere every six months. That's what all the, uh, the old people do in Canada. They all go to Florida. They all have, like, properties in Florida. They're called snowbirds. That's whatever, like, that's what their nickname is. They all buy, like, kind of like retirement, like, homes in retirement communities. And they go down there for the winter months. Because apparently it used to be very cheap. It's probably not very cheap anymore, let's be real. Real estate's probably messed everywhere. But that was definitely a thing. I think circles are easier to decorate. Uh, she could spread a few shroom lights around on the ground and put orange glass on top of it. That's actually a really good idea. I do wonder if the diamond will kind of be a little bit more of a challenge. It could be. Cat sneezes are so sweet and silly. Like, actually, they are so sweet. I feel so bad when she sneezes, but it's also very cute. Drift living in the nether now because the pigs took her base. No, literally. I guess I have to live here forever now. This is just now my home. It's all, uh, they do and it's awful for them. I hate seeing them sniffling and sneezing. I wish I could make them better. I know, I always feel so bad for Ruthie. There was like, I think it was the second time we took her in to get antibiotics because it wasn't getting better. And then since then, they've kind of told us what to watch out for, like if it gets bad. And she usually gets over it, thankfully, in like a week-ish, a, a week and a bit. But I always feel so bad. It's a thing around where I live. Everyone wants to go where it's warm during the winter months. Yes, exactly. It's either that or people take like, um, kind of like destination trips during March break to places like Jamaica and stuff, to all the resorts. I've never really been into, like, going to resorts and stuff, though. There we go. Oh my gosh, I have to tear down all this stuff. I might just half tear that down, honestly. Oops. Oh, are we talking about self-checkouts? Sorry, I missed out on some of the chat stuff. Self-checkouts suck. I always like accidentally press something and it's like, please wait for an attendant. And I'm like, oh God, here we go. Always, without fail. And also it just like takes jobs away. That bothers me, you know? I just don't really like them. I don't, like, they just don't feel beneficial sometimes. The one thing I like is that I don't have to talk to anybody because I'm just like, I just prefer to like kind of do my own thing and get out, but they also are very annoying at the same time. And Sam, you get it. Yeah, you don't have to talk to people as much. Exactly. That's, that's like the, that's the bonus for them for sure. They definitely have their pros and cons, though. Do, do, do. You and your husband want to go to Iceland in the in the summer? <laughs> 
<laughs> you literally don't read the screen. Okay, here we go. Here comes Big Tiny Duck. How did you, how did I know you were gonna, <laughs> God, no, I'm gonna wheeze laugh. The other day at Walmart, you hit no on the screen. Then they asked if you had scanned everything twice. Wait, what, did I? <laughs> Why is it asking me so many questions, though? Oh, do you want to beg? Do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? No, I just want to scan my stuff and pay. Like... <laughs> is it... Why is it so difficult? You're a machine. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> I didn't even say anything. I just did it correctly and we moved on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing so hard. Why would it ask me if I scanned everything correctly, though? What does that mean? Is it like double checking? Like, why did it even ask me that? Of course I did. Of course I did. You don't believe me, Walmart? Come on. Of course I did. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, if you want to buy, like, painkillers and stuff, yeah, sometimes you have to wait for people, depending on, like, what it is and stuff. Sometimes it's just easier to deal with, like... I, I like, like, the customer... Or, sorry, the cashier interaction because it's easier sometimes. But then other times I'm like, I do not want to talk to anybody, please. King, what's going on? So nice to see you. How you doing? How you doing? I miss... You miss Drift saying she likes building in the nether. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Hey, this platform's like turning out pretty good. Pretty good. It already looks so much better now that we've cleared all this stuff away, honestly. It just looks so much more like a build. It was like kind of like built into the wall at one point. It was looking pretty messy. You should see her use- wait, a what? What do I use? A shopper's? What was that one thing that I did wrong when we were in the UK that you guys had to fix? I forget what I did, but I did something completely wrong. And the person had to come help me. I do not remember what it was. I just don't- I- I'm the type of person- I- I skip the tutorial. I have to admit, I'm the type of person who skips the tutorial chat. So like... I do the same thing with self-checkouts. <laughs> it's- it's bad. It's a- it's- I don't recommend doing that. It just puts you in a worse position because guess what? If you mess up at the self-checkout and you're there to not talk to somebody, it means you just have to talk to somebody anyway because they have to come fix your mistakes. And then you just end up wasting their time because- because <laughs> you didn't do it properly in the first place. Yeah, I need to go get more deep slate, I think. <laughs> yeah, BTD back again. She always comes in at, like, the the right time. I don't know how she does it. It's wild. She just, like, has a sense. She's like, I think I need to say something about Drift right now. Yeah, and then she takes her leave. I can't even- I can't even get her to clarify what she meant. Like, with what she was talking about. Cause she's just gone. I shop at LD and they don't bag your stuff anyway, so it's easier to do self checkout there. Yeah, exactly. It's easier to do it when they're when you don't have to worry about bags and stuff. Did you mean to make the square slightly off? Is the square off center? Oh no, is it? Wait, did I not do it right? Okay, I'm gonna go get deep slate and then I'm gonna recount. It should be eleven all the way around. I'm just doing the last side now. It should be a perfect square in, in between, though. You've been good hanging out with friends a lot more uh, with the good weather. Oh, heck yeah. I'm glad you had, you've had you had some good weather over there. Out and about doing stuff. So good to see you, though. So good to see you. Oh, my gosh. I'm growing like crazy. I have to get some more deep slate soon. You also skip the tutorials, Sev. You know what's up. 
skip the tutorials and then you're you start the game and you're like why can't i understand anything why is this game so hard because i didn't read the tutorial to be fair though sometimes tutorials are just like way too confusing way too long we were playing it takes two the other night and like the way that they give you the tutorial in the game is actually brilliant because you literally just play the game and they're physically teaching you everything so quickly and by the time you realize it you've understood all of like the controls and stuff it it's so good <clears throat> Looks a block off. Okay, we'll we'll try to fix. We'll try to we'll try to fix. Try to be nice to everyone, but somebody gives me attitude for one reason, I'll give attitude right back. Hey, that old saying, the customer's always right, has been such a curse. You know what I mean? I worked retail as well, and it was just so brutal sometimes. So brutal. Eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then this one. If anything, it might be this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, it should be good. I think it's just that we need to do the last side now, which is making it look a little bit off. If we just like bring this one out, then we're good. Shroud and drift enemies to friends. Shroud, look at all the progress I've made. Are you proud of me? I used to be so terrified of this place. Now look at me. Now look at me. I built a giant tower. I have a platform. I've built stuff. I'm vibing. I was gonna say I, I have not died yet, but I don't want to like knock on wood and just like cause chaos. So I'm just, I'm not even gonna talk about that. I think we've done good. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Perfect. Then we gotta go one more block for the perimeter. Like that. I feel like I don't even need the bottom piece for that one. And we just have to connect that way and this way, which will be easier because there's less stuff around. This is turning out pretty good. Pretty good. I will say it's just like all of the, all of this stuff getting through it is just such a pain. But I think I do prefer being in here rather than Soul Sand Valley. I think Soul Sand Valley are way too exposed to like ghasts and stuff. This has been more enjoyable. Oops. Watch, a ghast is gonna spawn and absolutely destroy my build now. I am a little bit more exposed to them now that I've cleared stuff out. Counting with drift, we did it. We did it. You're tearing up, Shroud. I'm glad. I'm glad. I've, I've come a long way. I'm like a new person, honestly. Time for me to get going. Not sure if it's nap or productive time, but I'll see you all around. Thanks for the stream drift. All Kinetics, thank you so much. And thank you so much again for the gifted subs and stuff. I really, really appreciate it. Hope you have either a good nap or a good productive uh, afternoon. Whichever one you choose. And we'll definitely see you around. Gotta take my dog for a walk and take a shower. Love the stream. Bye. Oh, no worries, Jamie. I hope uh, your dog walking it goes well. And we'll catch you later. Thank you so much also for hanging out. I appreciate it. Uh. Oh, wait. No, I have these still. Heck yeah. Heck yeah.
when a customer thinks they know better than the person who literally works their job every day oh my gosh tell me about it those were always the worst like people who could not be reasoned with absolutely was the most frustrating part i would say like genuinely like there's nothing you could have said that would like make them believe something otherwise even if like obviously you're telling the truth and they just like refuse to believe you i think that was my biggest pet, pet peeve of working retail and it's always over like such small minuscule things that didn't really matter like it's not like somebody's basic needs weren't being met it was like it was always about something like a box of cheez it's you know i'm like valid i love cheez it's but like don't yell at me over it you know it's been three hours chat hydrate and stretch your legs yeah everybody hydrate all that stuff We've got a little bit more of the stream to go. I would say another half hour until I got a jet. So in the meantime, definitely, definitely grab a snack stuff if you need to. We have a couple more trees to clear here, but we're doing pretty good. I think this is probably right around here is the last bit. <clears throat> You need to get your phone charger, but you're too lazy to leave the couch. I hate that feeling. I hate that feeling. I hate when I need to charge my phone a little bit before bed. Because I hate leaving my phone charging on the charging port, port overnight because it's not good for it. But also your battery's at like, I don't know, like 10%. So it's going to die if you don't charge it. So sometimes I'm just like laying in bed and I'm like, what, what do I do? <laughs> on my phone before bed just like sit there just like twiddling my thumbs just like okay huh? ah! uh oh uh oh he mad ow 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 free food Mmm, croissants. I haven't had a croissant in like a hot minute. Croissants are the best. Oops. I don't think we really need to get rid of too much of this. Actually, probably this tree. Might as well just full send it. Full send it, chat. Who's shooting at who? What's going on? Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god, he's fighting for his life, bro. Oh my god! I don't want to go down there. I saw nothing. I saw nothing. Holy, that was that was wild. Can't believe he killed their dog right in front of them. Well, look at what they're doing, Moon! Did you see that? They're deadly. I'm not- I'm not even going near them, honestly. That is- that's Danger Town. Actually, Danger Town. That was terrifying. We're just gonna close that up and pretend I never saw that. That reminds me of like- I don't know why. Remember like in The Return of the Jedi? That like weird pit? What- is it Han Solo has to fight in that weird pit with like those like monsters? Or is it Luke Skywalker? I don't remember. One of the two. Kind of reminded me of that scene. This is cheaper in other stores than shop there. Yes. Azzy, that one drove me nuts because like, you know what? I get it. I hate when like at stores, like a company is clearly marking something up. But at the end of the day, like I'm not, I was not responsible for prices at a place. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's not the, the fault of the people who work there. You know? And at the end of the day, the person who works there probably has to shop there too, and I don't think they're too happy with the pricing either. 
It's just one of those things where it's like, if you really want it for that price, sorry. You gotta go. You gotta go. It just sucks because, like, I know prices for food. We talked about it earlier. It's gotten, like, outrageous, you know? Like, completely outrageous, but, like, I don't know. You can't put that on the people who work there because they absolutely have no control and chances are they have to buy the exact same thing too. Like that's not, that's not their fault. Yay, we made a square, look at that. Nice. Can't believe I managed to clear that out. I am missing one piece here. There's also a floating island, which I will have to get rid of, but I don't really intend to scaffold this just yet. Or not scaffold, um, fortify it. I would like to get some of like the orange lights we were talking about in some spots. <sighs> Does chat have any advice for moving house with a cat outdoors as well? Like uh, outdoor cats? Um, hmm. Have you already like, have you already found your like the spot you're moving to King? Or are you like looking for advice on like what to look for when like renting or buying? Oh, that was scary. I need to get more glass. Cause with moving with a cat, what we did was we like packed up all of our stuff throughout the week. Um, and then like, or throughout like the couple weeks, made sure everything was in boxes, good to go. So we were lucky where we had, um, like our apartments, like they weren't too far from one another. So basically what we did was like, I was at like the original apartment when the movers got there. And then in the, or sorry. And then Big Tiny Duck was in the other apartment. So she brought, she had brought Ruth and she had brought Ruth over there the, with the apartment empty. And then she let her sniff around, get used to the space. And then the movers moved all of our stuff out of our apartment while she was there. And then they moved it into the new apartment. The only problem was she was kind of scared when the movers were moving stuff upstairs, but she had her own space. We've just made sure she got used to one, the layout of the apartment as much as we could. And then we gave her like a little safe space that the movers didn't have access to. That's kind of what we did with cats. Um, it just depends on if you can do that. I mean, if not, you can also do like, have the cat stay at like a friend or like a family's place, uh, like while you're moving. I think we might, if we like, if we move in the future, we might do that as well. Uh, we might just have Ruth stay with like, I don't know, like, like let's say my parents or something. And then you like acclimate them to the space after. It all depends, right? But those are kind of like the two ways to go about it with cats. And then outdoors, I'm not too sure though, because I don't have I don't have an outdoor cat. I don't know what kind of like the rules and guidance are for like making sure they're like okay with the new terrain and stuff. My dog is begging, and every time I look at him, his ears go down and he wiggles with excitement. Oh, I think you've You've got no choice. You are at his mercy. You have you have to give him pets. You have to. You have to. We're trying to find my partner and I are moving in with mates uh, who also have a cat. But I'm anxious about Daryl getting lost while exploring. Yeah, I get that. Apparently, cats have like a really good, like they can find their way home very easily. Apparently, there's like studies done where people like you could literally drive a cat out miles don't do this but like apparently if you were to ever like leave a cat somewhere they can find their way home basically but i don't know if like if you have like an outdoor one if like the best thing to do is to just let them kind of like stay in for a bit and then slowly let them go outside i'm not sure i think Cats are very, very smart with that though, luckily. Yeah, Kenzie, the scented item things is perfect too. That's what we did. We made sure like Ruth had all of like her things that she liked 
in like an area with like a like a sweater that smelled like us, all of that stuff. Have to head out. Thank you for streaming. I missed this. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you so much, Abby, for hanging out. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good one. Wait, you got your you got your race, Sophia? Yo, GG's, big GG's. That's awesome. Heck yeah. Congrats. Butter on the paws for the first few times they go outside. I'll stick. Uh, to it and lick it off they have to take in their surroundings and we'll leave a scent interesting i didn't know that i don't really have any like um experience with outdoor cats because i've only ever had ruthie and she's indoor i know btd had outdoor cats but the problem is they were her families so she uh it's kind of just been there like they've been in the same spot her whole life pretty much oh my gosh ruthie is climbing all over my keyboard sorry chat i am i am at I'm at Ruth's mercy right now. I must stay still for a second. I wish I had Cam on right now so you all could see. She's being a little menace. Hi, what are you doing? What are you doing? Did you come for some love? You just come here for some love? Oh, she's gonna sit right on my, yep. Yeah, she just, she is sitting on my mouse. Yeah. That's not great. <laughs> Ruth, there's not enough space here for you. There's not. Yeah, there's space right there. That's good. Y'all will see her on Friday for sure. For sure. All right, well, we got the beginnings of this done, I would say. It's got like, not the most detail, but I would say like enough detail for now. I think what we have to do is we're gonna have to like eventually get, I don't know, like a wall put up and stuff. Maybe make this thing circular, but at the same time, we all know how circles go. Didn't I cry last time or I almost cried? Or I said I was gonna call my mom crying? I thought I could shear those, I can't. We're gonna have to figure out what to do with this area though. I'm kind of thinking like, it, ha it has to be enclosed, no matter what. It definitely has to be enclosed, otherwise we're gonna run into bi some big trouble. Plus, I think it would look kind of cool if there was like a giant tower enclosed, you know? It'll look weird, but I like. I actually, re I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it's kind of cute. It's like simple, but cute. There is maybe a little bit more detail we can add to it next time, but very, very cool. She heard you talking about other cats and got jealous. No, literally, that is Ruth energy. Like if me and Big Tiny Duck give each other too much attention and we don't acknowledge Ruth, she gets mad. It's, it's wild. Why not do pillars of lava in the corners, but with walls? Oh, <gasps> that's a good idea. Okay, I am willing to try it. I am actually willing to try it, especially cause they'll be so far off. I feel like we could do pillars like here, surrounded by like glass or something. I say we give that a shot. Oh, Biscuit. Biscuit is the cutest little cat ever, mama. So, so cute. All of the pics you've been sharing of Biscuit have been so nice. Will you give Ruth a kiss for me? I would, but she just ran behind my PC. She is a menace. You love your new kitties. They're getting so big. Won't be kittens much longer. Yeah, you got to soak it all in. Soak it all in with the kitties. It is... They are such like little terrors, but it's so fun. Not glass walls, but if we do the, if we do the lava ideal with walls, the light won't go through though, right? We took two stray kittens, a calico we named Cookie and a gray tabby we named Sweet Pea. Oh, such sweet little names. Oh, walls, I see what you mean. Like walls, walls. For some reason, I thought you meant like blocks. I was like, oh, yeah, wall. So you mean like the wall, let's say like deep slate. We already have that. If we did like a ton of these, like kind of surrounding an area like this, it'll contain it, right? It would. That's a cool idea. I really like that. I feel like we could possibly utilize this space for that instead. Oh no, see, I'm stuck. It works. 
Okay, wait. I'm just gonna do a quick little test. Quick little test. I'm gonna have to head out in a minute, but I just wanna know. I just want to know. Yeah, if we did something like this. Nether brick fences could be really cool too, actually. Oops. I just have to go get a bucket of lava. Do I have a bucket of lava anywhere? I don't think I do. So something like that. What about hexagon shape? You can divide the space up very well. Hexagon would be good too. I was considering like a diamond shape, but I feel like that would be a little bit too hard to decorate. Like you'd have to do something very specific with it. Hexagon could work though. Okay, I just need to find some lava. I think I could find some in the caves quickly. I've eaten a whole chicken with chips. I feel full. Ian, I'm so, so jealous. <laughs> I could totally go for like chicken and chips right now. Oh, glad you enjoyed your uh, dinner though. You have five cats, two uh, black cats, a ginger tom, uh, and a calico. Oh, five cats. I don't think I've, I think the most cats I've lived with, I don't even know, maybe three at most in college. Yes, I've eat, eat a full chicken, eat it. Okay, we are on the hunt for lava. Stores are closed. Yeah, I kind of forgot that you're in a different time zone. Kind of forgot about that. Oh, that's magma. There's got to be some lava around here. I think I, I think I pretty much got rid of all that lava in that pit that we had. Oh, there's some. Ow. Can I, can I do it? I'm just gonna slowly go down. I don't trust myself. Ooh. Oh, it's all the way from up there. Pillar up. Watermelon candies are so good. I bought a pack of like the Maynard's one not too long ago. So good. I feel like we, me and Big Tiny Duck ate them so quickly. Oh, pff, this just keeps going. Oh, what? That's so weird the way that I connected. I know exactly where I am right now. That's so funny. Ooh, Maltesers are good too. I really like Maltesers. We were going to get some the other day, actually. I forget why we didn't. I think we chose something else instead. Oops. There we go. Um, I'm so sad because I bought Uncrustables the other day while I was at my parents. I saw them at the grocery store and I forgot them in their freezer. I was so sad because I haven't had an Uncrustable yet. They're new to Canada. I was like very much looking forward to it. But Big Tiny Duck, when she put the grocery order in, she added some in because she saw them. Hopefully they come in. I don't know. No guarantees. But if they do, I'm so excited to try my first, very first ever Uncrustable. Made a hexagon house in a uh, friend server. You can keep the tower and have paths to the portals to diagonal rooms. Uh, each one will have four rooms. Yeah, exactly. If you have like um, a hexagonal shape, it, I feel like that's the way to go. Then you can have it kind of like branch off into different areas. I would eventually love to get like uh, ice highway or something. Yeah, Maltesers are like top tier, top tier. Rubal. Oh my gosh, I just realized I was in the nether. I was surrounded by lava and I was like, where do I get lava from? Holy, I need to end stream. That's it. That's that's the thing. That's the thing that, that's getting me today. That's that's what's telling me I need to end stream. Oh my gosh. I was literally surrounded by lava. Like it was bright, blinding my eyes. And I was like, 
<laughs> There's no lava around here. Holy. Holy. Oh my gosh. You're so right. <laughs> Okay, okay. We're gonna try this little lava thing. Disregard all the lava I was surrounded by. Gold star for drift, honestly. Honestly. <laughs> it's okay, I would've gone back to the overworld too. It's just one of those things where it's like, the, the lava is so cemented into the nether that you like almost don't see it as a thing. Like, does that make sense? Did Drift have a brain fart? I feel like my dr my Drift, my brain exists mostly in fart form. When am I not having a brain fart, you know? When am I not? Oh, oh that's cool. Oh, what if, oh yeah, 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 that's cool. Yo. Why you don't drink during stream? I'll have you. I have been enjoying a nice crisp Dr. Pepper, okay? And a tea. Listen. Listen. <laughs> yeah, fun fact the nether is literally made out of lava. Oh no. Guys, I couldn't see lava anywhere. Where is there lava? There's none. There's none in sight. I have never seen lava in my life. <laughs> oh god. And I'm also just drift. Azzy, you get it. You get it. Uh, yeah, this. I feel like if we were to do this, I would definitely make it taller than this. I think. I think that's definitely the move. Make it taller, like a giant pillar going up, and then um, put like a topper on it for sure. It does work though, so that's cool. Gargle salt water after stream. Begrudgingly, I will. I will. Oh man, I am. Yeah, I think I think it's time to call it. It's been three hours. I think we did a good job today, though. I think we got quite a bit done. Quite a bit done. So on Friday, we should be back on Twitch um, in our long term stream world. It's been a hot minute since we've been there. I'm very excited to get back. Uh, everybody, thank you so much again for today. I had so, so much fun. Kind of felt like we had like a little double double YouTube stream moment because it was only a couple days apart. Thank you so much again, everybody, for all the gifted subs, all of the donations, and just for hanging out. I had such a lovely time. So, so much fun. I'm so much looking forward to Friday. Uh, we'll, we will be live on Twitch. My link is in the description if you don't have my Twitch. Uh, we go live at the same time, 12 p.m. EST. So, I will see you all very, very soon. Bye! Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for today. I had so much fun.